album concept hour. It's the album concept hour. Uh, welcome everybody to the album concept hour. My name is Brad LeBaron and I am your host and I will be taking you to, through this uh, uh, adventure that we're about to go into this uh, journey or trip, if you will. And uh, we have our co-host, uh, as usual, Virtual John. What's going on, John? Oh, Virtual John, check it in from home. Yeah, yeah. How's I'm your... here to I'm here to go through this tunnel with you, Brad. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, there's a there's a lot to lot to go over. Lot to a lot of sounds to to parse through. And um, yeah, we have 22 tracks. Uh, what we're doing today is Major Organ and the Adding Machine. Um, if you heard our Neutral Milk Hotel episode, it's got Jeff Mangum attached, um, who is the, the lead guy. And uh, it's also got Julian uh, Costner, who's from that band. But before we get too far into it, I'd like to introduce our guest of honor, our uh, fourth guest for our Inspector 34 month. It is Jim Warren. Warren? Right? Yeah, that's it. That's okay, correct. Yeah. Hello. That's, you didn't I, say Warner. People often say Warner, and I it's uh, I don't. Okay. The names okay. aren't I similar was, enough. To, it didn't. For, I, I didn't it to think I was often as it does to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think I was correct because uh, I tried for a second shot at uh, Alexandra's name, and uh, oh, yeah. I I I, I, flo- I I messed it up. That I one's a mouthful, time, though. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Warren is here, uh, lead singer here. and guitarist from uh, Inspector Thirty Four, and uh, in Mastermind, uh, I would say. I think that I guess I think most I of the bandmates have agreed that you're oh. the mastermind. So I haven't listened to their episodes yet, um, but uh, I'll say it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it was that and uh, a lot of shit talking though. Um, yeah, it was well, just, sure. You know, um, you know, they they just. They feel like you just overshadow them in a, in a way that is, you know, maybe unhealthy. But you know, I, you can listen Matthew. to the episodes. I try um, to get them to let me stand in the back and sing from the back hmm. and have yeah, the whole yeah, yeah. band be in front of me, and they would not let me. So okay, uh, okay. they're full of shit. Did they? Did they move? <laughs> did they move the microphone further away from you? Yeah, I always <laughs> want to be in the back. I don't want everyone uh, staring at me. But, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, they yeah, said yeah. you. They said you're the singer. You have to be in front of the band. That's you know that's that's a fair uh, uh, thing to to request. Uh, you know, of the doing, singer, uh, yeah, I guess. The, man, the, the front man, as it were. That's what oh. they said. I yeah, yeah front yeah. man. Yeah, I'm, you I'm wanna, only you, in front because you make me stand the there. Shit. I could be the back man. The same thing. Well, see, see you that you should have been the drummer, the middle man. That's true. There's the middleman too, but uh, that's uh, you got to do all sorts of other stuff on the side if you're the middleman. Yeah, man. that's you know? some more work than I feel like doing. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I'll yeah, tell you, you, the drummer thing worked though. It worked for like what? Phil Collins, that that guy yeah. from the Eagles. Uh, Ringo um, too, right? He was drumming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah no. But, but he wasn't the lead singer. But yeah, he got a couple no, songs. Yeah, he got a couple. You yeah, got yeah. A couple. Except for <laughs> except for Led the Zeppelin, scene. they got a pretty good track record, you know. Like there was that ska band Slow going. Gherkin. You Slow guys remember the Gherkin. ska My God. band Slow Gherkin? Their okay. Uh, okay. drummer was their lead singer, I believe. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, they were on uh, Asian Man Records, a classic third wave <laughs> ska. That's classic. Band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really, I don't think we've actually done a sky album yet that's like a, boy, oh a little we should do microcosm of like Ooh. music we have not even like touched so have me Ooh, back right, we'll right, do right, the right. aquabats I'll, oh I'll talk yes to you about the aquabats all day well that whole that whole band is a <laughs> is a concept so yeah. See, see, um yeah brad what we do first is we do the digimon album because that's got we like do, three yeah. or four ska songs yeah, on yeah, it. yeah. that's and true then we go and then hey so since we did this we're planning on venturing into a ska album yeah, yeah. Natural that's progression. It. We're good at that. That's I good. agree. That's very, that's very smooth. Yeah, um, that and that is the next plan. Uh, well, that is the next soundtrack that's on the the roster, guys. We oh, yeah. we haven't forgotten about the Digimon the movie soundtrack. It is next on the on the list uh, once we get if we through. if we get to do the Transformers, we get to do the Digimon. <laughs> I, I I need the Digimon soundtrack in our repertoire. I in my just, life. Oh yeah. Um, that but, I can. Wa- it's a good excuse to watch the movie again, too. Actually, I do really enjoy like 
the first half of that film quite a bit. The second Me half, too. I could take it or leave it, but um, yeah, the first the half. First half is the, the internet stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. cried. I cried in the theaters when I when uh, I, when I was getting blasted. I was yeah, like with my dad, and I was like, "No, Kramer!" I too <laughs> I saw like, this movie oh. in theaters, but I don't. I, I could not tell you one thing about it. I loved it when oh, I was a kid, so though, good. and it had the Kids in America in it. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I remember like seeing the promo song. for that every yeah. day leading up to when it came out. Mm-hmm. It was maybe the first version of that song I heard uh, as a kid, but probably me, me too. not. Definitely my no, it was absolutely the first time I then heard that. And it had that, that cartoon people that sang it, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a cool yes. like music video lines. thing. Yeah. That's right. Looking at my dirty your window. <laughs> oh, yeah, I used to there was something I would do on I, on Digimon.com. I would go there so I could listen to that song. Oh yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there was some for some reason that's where I went to listen to that song because I wanted well, to hear it. Hey man, you got to go to the digital world for Digimon. You know well, I mean? had dial up internet. Hey man, was that was my introduction boy. to ska. Yeah, see, like, it's like Jake's yeah. Jake's something is less, on there. Less than uh, Jake. Less than Jake. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then there's and then there's somebody else. Uh, oh. There's well, real big well, we'll fish is not on there. I don't think. I think real big fish is the one glaring omission of the uh, ska band. Mighty Mighty Boston's, I think, have a track. Yes, Mighty Mighty yeah. Boston's. There you go. I love those yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah. Hit the big ones. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I, I actually only had that. I, I, that was the first soundtrack that I bought in a store. So I liked it so much that I bought the soundtrack. That's a good one. Um, so, yeah, we will geek out about that quite a bit when we get to Digimon the Movie. Uh, soundtrack and i will be completely uh uh, unbiased (laughs) uh it's gonna be hard brad um yeah no i'll I'll, gonna be hard i'll be yeah no i can do it i can do it guys um but i have to be i'll be the positive (laughs) side then okay all right we need a bad cop though so maybe maybe dave can be dave dave can be the bad cop dave can be the bad cop yeah yeah i agree um but uh yeah, this is a major organ in the adding machine, like I mentioned before. Um, this album is from a collective of uh, so weird, like folk and experimental um, indie pop kind of stuff, uh, a little hard to pin down, um, from the label Elephant Six and Orange Twin is what, you know, the, the label that put it out. Um, and uh, yeah, it includes... Uh, Jeff Mangum and Julian uh, Coster from uh, Neutral Milk Hotel, um, and Robert Schneider, who uh, was the producer, I believe, for In an Aeroplane Over the Sea. Yeah, and he's he's the singer of the Apples and Stereo, and he produced a bunch of the uh, a bunch of Elephant Six uh, albums, I think. Yeah, he sounds like he, uh, from what I read, he was the one of the most uh, involved uh, people in this lineup uh, for yeah. that record label. Um, and apparently he invented a, uh, a, a non-Pythagorean um, scale of pitches as well. I could see him doing something like that. He's like a yeah. he. He's a professor of mathematics at a university. Yeah, real mathy guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I it, it, it's it's hard to describe. So um, just if you if you really are curious about what it's saying and you understand a little bit of music theory, just just check out his uh, Wikipedia entry. But he's done a lot of cool stuff, uh, which you'll you know you'll hear some of. You know his prowess in this album, um, uh, I think. Yeah, um, probably. And uh, <laughs> we also have uh, Kevin Barnes, who is uh, a famous of the group. Well, I don't know. Is, is of Montreal considered famous these days? I would I would consider them probably the most famous of the Elephant Six groups for sure. Definitely the most famous of these guys. But people just... people know who of Montreal are. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's famous enough. They, they, yeah, they, they have a few. They have a few like key two thousands music videos. So sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and so he was from. Uh, he's from of Montreal. So we have like a, a super group uh, of these indie uh, pop folk uh, psychedelic um, uh, genre thing that's happening here. Yeah. 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 
um, which we'd hear a lot. You can hear some of these elements in in an aeroplane over the sea and some you know neutral milk hotel, but I think um, this yeah the, I think this album is like a really good. Uh, it's a, it's a, it, like in that sense of being a super group, it is like a nice, you get a good sense of like combining all the different like directions and influences and stuff throughout all the Elephant Six bands, I think, which is maybe why I like it so much. Yeah. And, and I don't, um, I don't know much about the other Elephant Six bands besides, besides Neutral Milk as of yet. So, okay. um, so this is, so, you know, I can catch on to the, like, well, I guess three of the members, you know, were involved in, in an aeroplane over the sea, so I can kind yeah. of see those connections, but, um, yeah. Well, there's also, I, like, yeah, aside, there's, like, the key guys, but then I think another, like, thing about this uh, is that there's no personnel listing uh, or anything, uh, so, like, the actual, like, the, the musicians and performers on it are you know, run the gamut of all of like people from all the different groups. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. And you don't, you don't know, like, uh, yeah, I, I noticed that actually in the genius notes, there's a very, there's very few, um, uh, there's very little information in that regard. Um, like there was I think a track they that, deliberately did it. They wore, I think, yeah, I remember reading somewhere that they would wear masks. They didn't, it was not like a, a band as much as just like a recording project, I think, but, I think when yeah, that's they did what it kind of seemed they like. Mostly wore masks. Yeah, it seemed like it was more of a yeah, a kind of like this is something to do to relax outside of our main gigs yeah. or whatever. You know, like I found one video, one live video on YouTube of of that's labeled Major Organ in the Adding Machine. Or it's not. I'm, it's just probably on YouTube, but I have this the CD I have. Uh, it was like the deluxe version of the CD that comes with the DVD mm-hmm. of the movie. Oh and, yeah, uh, okay. And it has a bunch of uh, like bonus videos. It's got like old live videos of a bunch of these bands and like little oh, experimental cool. films they they all did in the '90s and stuff. And one of them is a video uh, of Ma- Major Organ and the Adding Machine, uh, and the song they're doing is uh, the last, the la- the very last track. Wow. Uh, I don't know if you want to leave that to man, I'd love to get a, a hold of that uh, DVD. It's good. That sounds like a lot of gems. Um, I remember, um, you know, a few record labels that I really enjoyed that would put out these, you know, both compilation albums of different things, but then there was the um, the music video compilations, or you know, every now and again you'd have a live performance on them. And um, like uh, for me, it was. Uh, I think it was Tooth and Nail Records because I was uh, I was a Christian kid, so okay, yeah, yeah. So I, I was I was all I was always get the DVDs with those, but yeah, such a great way to discover uh, um, you know music that is like similar to like a, a one thing that you like, you know, like if you find the right record label, sometimes like everything from that record label is just yeah. perfect for you, big time, you know. Um, so uh yeah yeah we're going to we're going to get into it for this one um it is uh i will say it's uh it's it's pretty strange coming into it um i uh, <laughs> i didn't i didn't really know what to expect but it's um it's very psychedelic it's very non-linear um it's it's very uh i don't you know. know i think it's it's <laughs> relatively linear I, yeah, I mean, in a sense. When I, okay, I will <laughs> say after I you, you can help explain yeah, it. <laughs> after I saw the movie, it definitely like it 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 clicked together a little more, you know. Um, yeah, so that's the, maybe worth yeah. maybe worth explaining for the yeah, listeners yeah. that it's yeah, it, ostensibly the soundtrack to a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, that you know that is more or less the premise of the album. Yeah. Which is why it doesn't play like a, a quote normal a linear story album. Yeah, but it also it's not yeah. you know it doesn't play like the score like the the movie isn't just the album mm-hmm. with with visuals you know it's it's cut up and and clips are used here and there the yeah. movie itself is a lot shorter than the actual uh, album I think. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. By good, like uh, I think fifteen minutes or something. Yeah, it's not, so, it's only like twenty five minutes long or something. Yeah, yeah. So um, um, it's it's like made more for the scenes and everything. To, yeah, yeah. 
Me and uh, me and Alex actually, she had never seen the uh, for former guest Alexander Dadarian. Uh yes, She had never seen. Uh, you know, I love this. I'm always put. I put this album on in the car in the van or whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, she had never seen the movie, and we watched it actually last weekend, uh, and. <laughs> She was like, eh, I don't, like I don't know, like some of this, like, like a lot of the like concepts aren't really established, and I feel like the movie makes more sense if you've heard the album. Uh, I feel like the album, yeah. in a lot of ways, does like kind of a better job of like letting you know what is supposed to be going on than the movie itself does. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I haven't listened to it enough to know that personally because it's just like because for me like i listen to it i'm like okay i don't know like there's definitely like there's there's titles that connect to other songs and words that are referenced from other songs but i was very lost yeah um and then i then i saw the and then i saw the trailer i'm like okay okay so there's there's something going on here. Yeah. And I saw the movie. I'm like, okay, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. But um, there is like a narrative and a plot. Yeah, it's... and it does. And yeah, and then that started clicking together. I'm like, okay, that's literally that character doing yeah. this stuff. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I know I say this a lot, guys, but I recommend you watch at least the trailer <laughs> or something. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you, you guys know? would watch the uh, the movie. I'm glad you did. That's cool. Yeah, the, I, I usually on the last day I like to uh, uh, do like a information dump <laughs> and just like find out all I can. And uh, yeah, I was like, wow, this is uh, it's like a. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about the movie a little bit. It's like a it's like a silent film kind of uh, deal. Yeah, um, really reminds me of um, uh, was that Metropolis a little bit here and there. Then there's like a few like just silent film like uh, uh, gags. That they they pull, yeah. you know, um, and uh, like like the, you know, this this old man that's spying on the kids, and then the cop spying on the old man, and, and the yeah, guy in the gorilla yeah, yeah. suit is spying on the cop, and then <laughs> the cop and the gorilla, you know, have a tussle. Um, and, classic uh, comedy. Yeah, cla- just just classic. Uh, uh, your great grandparents' comedy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just very, it's very silly, very, um, it's not like, I feel like the movie's a little less acid trippy than the music itself. Like, if you just listen to the music, it almost sounds like you, you know, this is, if you listen to, (laughs) yeah, you you listen to music without like knowing that it's the soundtrack for something, you would go, well, this is going to be like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the the movie is like, you know, it's, it's wacky and fun, but it's, it's more grounded. I particularly enjoy the scene where the guy's eating, was that chili from a can or something? (laughs) It looked like spaghetti to me, I think. Spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, It's such a jarring transition. Yeah. I love that part. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, who the fuck is this guy? (laughs) <laughs> um but uh yeah you guys want to get on to the first track of this and yeah, uh yeah we'll probably roll. we'll probably be you know discussing uh the movie as we go along there's a lot of a lot of yeah. stuff to mention <laughs> but uh yeah this first track is called when father was away at business so here we go <laughs> Yeah. So that's so my what first that sounds like. So my first note for this one was uh very unsettling. Bad trip, bad trip. <laughs> sang by mer people. <laughs> uh so that was my initial reaction uh, okay. as yeah, yeah. Um well, it definitely sounds like that's the concept. We should do a song like we're sound like we're underwater. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they they pull so it like off. Those, those Aqua Rangers from Power Rangers. They, oh my they, god! <laughs> oh, you're so right, though. I, I didn't. I totally didn't actually think about that, but yeah, the Zio 
rain it was rangers? right before it was right oh, yeah, before they were the alien rangers from aqua yeah yeah I don't yeah know those guys yeah yeah it was a it was a brief thing like our uh, there was water so it's, it's considered water mini, missing on the planet we had to re, a, mini, a mini season rewater but, uh, the planet you know yeah, classic. I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not. As, <laughs> I'm not boned up on my on my power. Range. Oh, that's 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 all right. That's all right. That's, that, was my, uh, that was my shit yeah. back in the day. <laughs> Anyways, but um, yeah, it's it's a very uh, um, it, it's letting you know from the gate this is you know um, I mean I guess if you are used to this kind of sound from these guys, <laughs> it's probably not as as jarring. But is this like something I think it's that a jarring start either way? Yeah, I think is this it's... like? Something that Kevin or um, no, a Robert Robert Schneider. It's gonna be hard not to say Rob Schneider. It's okay. This, but just Robert just do what Schneider. do what you feel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Robert Schneider. Um, is this kind of what some of his uh, solo stuff uh, is reminiscent of? Because yeah, I, I don't know. Not necessarily. I like. Um, I his band, the Apples in Stereo, are. One of the one of, like of the Elephant Six bands, I think the one I've I've listened to the least. But okay. also, I think um, generally they're like one of the more like accessible and sort of poppy ones. Uh, yeah. But his uh, his production takes a very different uh, turn up uh, turn, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah. Or he's just good at producing other bands that want to sound more like that stuff. Well, it seems like there was like a time period, like a little pocket in like, you know, uh, I guess, you know, mid 90s, 2000s or whatever, where like these guys and their friends in particular are like, they seem to have this like, um, like, uh, uh, they, they seem to love like the, the aesthetic of like the 20s and 30s and like, like older <laughs> times. Um, yeah. Older even than some of the other bands that are influenced by older bands. You know? I think that's yeah. I think that's true. I it's specifically uh, like I like I know some of that uh, comes from Julian Coster. Uh, okay, because that's okay. like that he has he has a a really uh, fantastic podcast actually. Oh really? Um, but okay. Yeah, it's, it's called the Orbiting Human Circus. But the whole thing is set is. up. Uh, like uh, an old like 1930s or 40s radio play, and the, it's like listening to a radio play from the 30s or 40s. And he talks That's like, pretty cool. yeah, he talks about how they even like recorded it on like an old ribbon microphone that's like 80 years old and super finicky. Um, oh and it's my God. it's so it's Got so that like, classic staticky sound. Yeah, and it's so beautifully uh, put together and, and really well scripted and and I uh, highly recommend it. It's the only podcast that's ever made me cry. Uh, oh wow! Okay. Yeah, but it's also so it gets, like really funny real and, and really uh, interesting. Yeah. It's just great. I highly recommend it. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I. I was always. I was someone that like discovered Neutral Milk Hotel uh, very late. It was like you know I was already in my twenties. Yeah. Like and um. Yeah, so I I didn't get a chance to explore all of those uh, at the right time, I think. But um, yeah, this is uh, it's very it's a very interesting um, production, and it kind of um, <laughs> it kind of sounds like it does sound like they're using those old things, but it's like a high fidelity version of yeah. hearing those those old timey sounds, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's... It's weird a modern on the brain, take on it. It's know? been a bit, yeah, done by people who who clearly know what they're doing, mm -hmm. uh, which is yeah. I think I think the first track does a very good job of setting the tone, yeah, uh, yeah. and letting you know what what you're in for. I'll also, say, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Hmm? Or, uh, did you uh, have something to say? Go ahead. I was gonna say I was just gonna give the lyrics for this song. There's um, it, it's very lyric heavy. This or sorry, light. This uh, album, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, it's all about uh, the ticks and the tacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All about the the skips and the duops. The zings. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, it starts off saying, "You're going on a trip. Your mind is not quite fit. Your brain's circuitries abnormalities have brought you to this." So, yes. it is almost saying in the beginning, "This is a bad trip." Yeah. Hey. <laughs> this is not going to be <laughs> this fun. Is what's happening? You're going yeah, down yeah. the rabbit hole. You're gonna, you're gonna experience some things. But, I saw um, um, 
so the members of the of the Elephant Six uh, collective for a w- little while they would do what they called a holiday surprise tour, uh, okay. okay, where just whichever band, whichever members of whatever bands, you know, whoever was available, yeah. uh, would all do a big tour together and go on stage basically as one big band and just play like a selection of songs from all the from all the bands and and do uh and like covers and all sorts of other stuff. Uh I got the one year that I got to see them maybe it was like 20 oh god it must have been like 2011. Uh maybe 2010. Okay. But okay. uh they opened the show with this song. Uh and Oh really? <laughs> And they started, there were probably 10 of them, yeah. uh, maybe more, uh, but they all started like from in the back and from all throughout the crowd and all just started singing the lyrics as they wandered <laughs> through the crowd and <laughs> approached and got on the stage. And it was uh, oh, really, wow. <laughs> really fucking cool. That's amazing. Yeah, That's, I love the the theatrics that they seem to uh, Yeah, they're good. A, they're, I'm like... I'm a person who's not huge on like the like big over the top theatrics like uh but they do the way they do them is is great I think cuz they're like yeah they don't feel overdone it's not like a like as much as I love the flaming lips and like it's not like a flaming lips kind of thing or like a U2 like giant yeah, overdone yeah. overprepared yeah, thing it's it different. feels like, very you can you can hear it in the recording yeah, you know? you, yes, for sure. It's it's a part of the aesthetic I think they take, yeah. and yeah. there's there's a part of it that feels very genuine and and heartfelt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, absolutely. Which I, which I like. By the way, um, I think that we have another co-host uh, that might be. Hey, who's the that? Chat. A new challenger appears. <laughs> Hello, um, we have Jake Foster. What's going on, Jake? <laughs> this Virtual is a first for me joining like this. Yeah. Uh, but um, <laughs> this is uh, uh, yeah. We were just getting through the the uh, uh, second wait first track actually. Yeah, you didn't miss much. Oh, wow. I didn't miss much. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but uh, I think you 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 uh, have seen a little bit of the movie, so you might have uh, heard this bit already. Uh, did yeah, you I the... listen listen through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get into track two though. Um, this is, uh, what is this one called? We his have... Mr.'s Pet Whistles. Yes, his Mr.'s Pet Whistles. So, here's his Mr. Pet, his Mr.'s Pet Whistles. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're all dancing over here. You can't yeah. see it at home, yeah. but we're all dancing. It's very yeah. jiggy. Yeah. Very jiggy. It's right. like um is the was the was this strokes kinda like this? I wasn't a big strokes fan, but was I wasn't never a big like... strokes fan either. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know, never really dove into <laughs> I'll this. say yes. Okay, yeah, okay. there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we a lower fi version of that. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um but uh, maybe we should actually set the 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 movie up a little bit, though, as we're moving on with this. Um, yeah, that might be. A, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I know you know the album is you know like we said is it sounds like a acid or mushroom trip. There's there's <laughs> themes that continue throughout, but um, in the the movie, what's uh, kind of happening? They they establish this uh, this old folks home um, that's got. All of these people, uh, uh, man and woman with beards. They're all they're old. They got the beards. They all have very long wizard beards. It's very progressive. <laughs> um, and uh, there's also... The old these... folks home might be my favorite part of the movie. I really like the sound all the old folks make when they're talking. That, uh... that part was weird at first. <laughs> I, 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 I've always, I mean, I know... You know, I know why it's used in like Twin Peaks and in like this and stuff, like the kind of what the backwards uh, yeah. uh, lines or whatever. It's just, it is a this little is disconcerting. A, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, at least in Twin Peaks, they're saying something, and in, in this, it's in sort Twin of just Peaks, sounds. It's, 
Yeah, in Twin Peaks, it's more disconcerting. <laughs> in this one, it's disconcerting because it reminds me of Twin Peaks. Yeah, probably. The, the association is the worst See, part. Twin I Peaks is preparing us. Yes, yes. Uh, I listened I, to this album and watched the movie way before I had ever uh, seen Twin Peaks. So it's maybe I'm not. Maybe that's why I'm not so as as scared. I feel like I would think. I think that this has probably got some influence from Twin Peaks in just some of its. Could um, be. I don't know some of the places it goes with the words. <laughs> You know, um, I feel like we wouldn't have like an American horror story without Twin Peaks, though. No, no, Twin Peaks broke yeah. a lot of it, it. Really broke a lot of ground, um, and did, did know, doing American something horror story different. But I believe you. I'll, you know, I what? haven't seen that one. Either, I, th- but... I think it's a fair assessment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good assessment. <laughs> I I cannot speak authoritatively on the subject, and yet yeah. I will. Uh, I and agree. I we agree will trust you, you intrinsically, one hundred percent. <laughs> um but there's uh there's the old folks home and there's also these uh two kids uh running around um yeah i'd uh, say they're the main girl characters playing hide and seek um and uh yeah at, at the beginning I won't, I won't go through the whole movie yet but the at the beginning they start playing hide and seek uh the boy runs off finds this uh like Tin foil helmet thing with yeah. like a light bulb, light bulb on top. Hat. Yeah, yeah. It's like kind of a, there's like circle like wire all around it too. I don't know. And he throws that it's on. DIY light bulb hat. DIY Transports light bulb him hat. to a different place. Yes. He goes into uh, what I believe to be another uh, 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 universe, maybe I'm, I'm in the multiverse here. One would um, hope. I, I, I think that's what's happening. Um, and, uh, the, the girl goes to try to find him. She finds this big chest in the, the bar or the shed and she opens it expecting to find him. But instead she finds her own, uh, tinfoil homemade. Puts on the hat. She's gone too. Beep. They out of here. She's out. Yeah. Uh, so they have both disappeared into this other, uh, other, other realm. Yeah. They're in a box now. So they're in a box. Yeah. Uh, does that happen? Uh, <laughs> we'll wait till we get to, yeah, to uh, I didn't want to mo- give your too moon much pie away. and Madame, Madame Truffle. But uh, yeah. they, they meet Madame Truffle at some point. Yes. The moon pie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, this is, I think this is kind of uh, foreshadowing um, a lot in this track. Like if you actually have seen the movie, you know, this is kind of um, talking about what's kind of about to happen. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Cataloging sort of pictures like... taken of telephone poles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. you know, something. Seems vague. Yeah. Just looking at the words. <laughs> but I assure you it's very literal. Oh, it's significant and literal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> um, I do think that this might be like a, a like the, the original like writing might be a slightly different story than the movie. Um, just cause like, yeah. it has, the, it has the I, characters, uh, uh, what interloping in the garden, you know, I wonder which, uh, I do wonder if they like wrote out a, like an idea or, or the outline for a movie and then like went off and did the album, yeah. uh, or if they just made the album and the, and the idea for the movie sort of came out of them writing all these songs. I don't know. That's what or, I want. Yeah. Or what Six years what if they in kind between. Of did it, what if they kind of did it at the same time? And they're yeah. like, we'll we use the album to fund the movie. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Huh. That would be, be kind of smart. Yeah. Yeah. If you got it's a secure easier funding. to sell the album <laughs> this than is it is true. to sell a movie. Yeah. And then yeah, you can use yeah. the proceeds. <laughs> Although, hey, I, I don't it. know. I can't see a whole lot of these like outside of like college radio. You know, like <laughs> they got their, they have their uh, market though. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Like there's like there's like some really uh, cool. Like this kind of reminds me of like Animal Collective a little bit in the sense that it's like got a lot of yeah. very unconventional sounds uh, yeah, being for thrown sure. together. Um, but in a uh, very different way. Yeah, but I think I, I my my personal theory is that there is there's one story for the album and then they adapted it for a movie. I think uh, it sort of meant that years. that sort of makes more sense to yeah. me. I think I feel like just... the I feel like the songs are a little more sinister. If that makes sense. Yeah, 
And also, yeah, there's just um, it does feel like if you if you try to follow along with like the quote unquote plot of the album, it yeah. definitely is. It doesn't, you know, it's not a one to one with with the movie itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's like some tracks that like you know are instrumental that have we can talk a about Francisco. Title. You know, uh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a very interesting inclusion in this. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we'll before get we get there. to all that, we have another track for you guys. This is uh, Kissing Behind the Rubbery Grinder. So Jesus here Christ. is track three. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's a clip of that. Yeah, that's that's kissing behind the <laughs> rubbery grinder. Boy, um, that's just some of these are really short. By the way, <laughs> this is like you know, there's a lot of tracks on this, but there's like a few al- uh, tracks like this one that's like less than a minute long. So yeah, it's, it's like these guys thought, let's take Pink Floyd with no lyrics and make it weirder. <laughs> yeah uh uh definitely like a lot of psychedelic stuff happening here yeah um, a lot of uh yeah i like the uh i don't know this was i think i first heard this album when i was maybe 19 or 20 okay um i have since you know developed a great appreciation for like like noise music and and like avant-garde uh like yeah sort of improvisational stuff but i didn't really at the time this was like one of my big uh introductions to like that world Mm -hmm. was tracks uh like this and Mm -hmm. i love it there's like and it is like in that sort of genre like that the stuff like that that's on this album and that is sort of more reminiscent of like uh Olivia Tremor control and uh circulatory system which okay. are two other uh, elephants related elephant six bands. Uh okay. but uh that type of thing is not I don't know. I have a hard time finding other stuff that is like it and it's a very soothing kind of thing to me. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. that type of of noise and jumble of sounds I I really like. Yeah, because I'm familiar with noise too. Like I've been to a live like noise show before. Um, yeah. But this is like, this is like noise, but with uh, stru- a little bit of structure. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a little yeah. bit of structure, but there's also like a lot, a lot going on. It's like very kind of all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in a way that doesn't feel it's not it doesn't feel random or. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anything. You can kind of it can kind of be like a meditative kind of um, yeah. uh, listening experience, um, like the atmosphere of a place, kind of. Yes, you know? yeah. atmospheric, yeah. one might say. Yes, yes. A lot of atmospheric stuff happening here. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys want to get on to another track? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move us along because uh, there's a lot of tracks here. Let's oh yeah, it. this is this is the one that I actually added my own note to. So oh, I, have a note, I have a note on the genius because I there's not a lot of notes on this one. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is un de trois 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 shit trois trois. <laughs> It's kind of a jam too. Yeah, there's. Uh, I know it's a nice um, mix of sort of formless uh, atmospheric songs and actual, uh, you know, tunes with uh, with like a beat and a and a melody and stuff on this album that I like. I think there's yeah, a decent it, proportion of both. 
Yeah, it, it, and it kind of fades in between them sometimes, like abruptly. You know, yes. like it will like um, you kind of hear that a little bit in like Neutral Milk uh, in an airplane over the sea, yeah. but not this abruptly. It, like in the Neutral Milk, it's it's there's little little bit of a feed in feed out from a you know spot, but. I'd this say is... again, that's that's something that uh, is very is like a more prominent feature of mm-hmm. uh, those bands I mentioned: Olivia Tremor Control yeah, and Circulatory yeah. System, which are almost the same band but with yeah, some yeah. key differences. Uh-huh. Um, but have been big influences on me. And uh, well, I think they somewhat accidentally members. looking at like this and some of their other projects. It almost seems like they kind of accidentally stumbled upon the like. Uh, uh, the finger on the pulse that Neutral Milk <laughs> kind of represented, you know, yeah. uh, with uh, In an Airplane Over the Sea. Because, um, you know, who, uh, who knows, you know, how, uh, how how good or successful they thought that album was going to be. And, you know, it could have just been another thing. Yeah, you know, just for making these guys the, that have a lot of projects. The album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is something like... Had to, something had to hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and this really shows, like, a... It, it, it really, as a, a fan of the you know Neutral Milk and Jeff Mangum, like I, it, I love to see this other side of him. Yeah. And this this like because he, 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 he's so vague and mysterious in just the Neutral Milk <laughs> context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. this kind of humanizes him a little bit uh, to have yeah for sure participate in this more experimental kind of uh, um, you know experience. And if you, I, I mean, I, I don't know how deep you ever have delved into Neutral Milk Hotel. Uh, that was like a big formative band for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, like it, uh, the, there's like a bunch of earlier uh, like demos and or like all the all the like the pre on Avery Island uh, stuff is yeah. all like extremely. Uh, extremely experimental like very few actual songs in it a yeah, lot of like sound yeah. like found sounds and sound collage stuff um that is like makes the actual neutral milk hotel albums like more surprising almost <laughs> that like that coalesced into yeah yeah <laughs> something else. yeah okay okay so this is more like this is more like how they started then. yeah it seems okay. almost like he was like okay let's go back i did the thing where i'm gonna where i wrote songs now I'm like going back to this other thing yeah, I yeah. have my monies. Now I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does make me. It gives me a yeah, a, a whole new appreciation for his kind of musical journey because that happens a lot. That that seems to happen like every now and again. There's just a someone that's like they understand the pop formula, but that's not what they're about. You know? Yeah. So like they they apply it sometimes, but it's yeah, not like their it. their main love. Yeah, exactly. Know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, this make one... a million dollars off one hit, then you can just make a hundred thousand dollars off small hits the rest the, of your career. The Chumbawamba approach. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, you, you need to make enough of a crowd to uh, have summer festivals. Yeah. Okay, Crash that's, test dummies. Yeah, that, that that's that's retirement, <laughs> they, right? They there. released the mm-hmm, mm-hmm. guys like yeah, yeah. Paid off my paid off my parents like debt got me out of debt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You just need like like ten good seconds of a song that like, that you know, you'll be yeah. you'll be set. But I I would I don't know, I would like I wouldn't even say that Neutral Milk Hotel is the most successful. Like I would say of Montreal yeah. by far is it like because you know, Neutral Milk Hotel when they were around at first yeah. like, weren't that that like nothing really happened, like that they had like a kind of a velvet underground thing. Uh okay. And then the dis- had to disappear for 15 years. And that, like, then they come back and they're headlining mm-hmm. all the festivals and everything else. But yeah, for... I feel like it's more that, like, In an Aeroplane Over the Sea is bigger than Of Montreal, maybe, to oh, some big, people. Oh, big time. You know? But, like, it, um, it but took, of I think it took way has, longer. Yeah. Yeah. Of Montreal has a, a more successful career uh, yeah. in general. Yeah. yeah, they got the um, staying. They got the staying power. Maybe. Career. Yeah. I mean, they they went the the super the super poppy route also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did that more often for sure. Yeah. Um, this track like reminds me of like a John Lennon or like Yoko kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Weird that, like, stuff. Yeah, very <laughs> experimental and weird, and like you know, in weird tones and everything. 
Um, and uh, something that, like, you know, maybe if you were, like, a Beatles fan or a Paul McCartney fan or something, you were like, ah, what are the John and Yoko doing in there? <laughs> um, but, uh, no, yeah, this his, is... He yeah. must have really loved that woman because he did some weird stuff with her. Hey, they were, I think <laughs> like that... Music-wise. I think their relationship is beautiful, personally. I know it might not. There's there's team. definitely some problems It did in break it, up the Beatles. But... It didn't, on both well, sides. it didn't break up the Beatles. They were good. They've all said that on record that they were, you know, kind of right. going in that direction anyway. But like, um, I think that they, in a, you know, healthy or not, they kind of completed each other. Um, yeah. Yeah, they loved each other. That's for sure. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Just like John, just like Paul and Linda. Paul and Linda. Oh, man. beautiful relationship. All right. Yeah, anyways, um, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I had to mention John and, and Yoko at some point because I that's the first thing like that kind of <laughs> done flashed in my head. Man. We did we we haven't done Beatles. We've done uh the band on the run, which yeah. is Palm Carney of the Wings. We're gonna have to do a Beatles one here soon. We do have to do well, I mean, you know, Sergeant Pepper is on the list. I know. Actually actually no, it's not I haven't put it on the list. I have to write it I have to put that on the list. That, um, on the it's list. on my mental list, but not on the physical list. So, um, anyway, we have, uh, for the next track, we have uh, tracks five and six. Uh, yeah. This is going to be your moon pie eye into Madam Truffle. So, here we go. <laughs> Ends with that that really like just I, immediately pretty like. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I see why you uh, I see why you chose to merge them in the, in that clip because that transition is so cool. It uh, is very yeah. I really um, yeah. I, I love that it's just a cacophony, and then all of a sudden it just comes back together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I uh, it's kind of like the whole thing. It's like it's always <laughs> trying to find itself, yeah, and then it loses itself once it finds itself. <laughs> it's kind of like a trip, you know. Yeah, yeah in a in a very uh, very uh, much so, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's two. There's two albums in a row that are very very trippy. Like the Ween the Mollusk is also oh, yeah. very trippy. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, this uh, uh, the the moon pie that they're referencing uh, is a it's a southern uh, dessert uh, of origin, I guess is southern, um, and apparently, oh yeah, it's a it's a you know uh, graham crackers with um, marshmallow in the middle and chocolate on the outside of all that. So we're talking and, about a uh, harder to eat s'more. Yes, I was about to say, it's like an inside-out s'more kind of. Okay, like a yeah. somehow a messier even. Uh, s'more. Yeah, yeah, but but the chocolate, but the chocolate is like is is hardened. It's like it's dipped in chocolate. Okay, it's yeah, not yeah, melted. Yeah. That, no, that that okay, great. that would be yeah, that would be hard. Yeah, um, I, uh, I love this now. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, but we're talking. What we're talking about is the moon pie eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say it's a little different in the movie. Um, <laughs> but just one more thing about the moon pie. Apparently, traditionally, it is uh, served with RC cola. So uh, take that with that what you will. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, the moon pie eye seems like something an RC cola employee may have added to a Wikipedia page. It seems like a very weird addition, and <laughs> I <But> hey. <laughs> hey, if that's a thing, let you us used know. To, pie used Get up to, in have our to Twitter. be served with a piece of cheese in Wisconsin. Well, that sounds hey, good. That's, to be a law. That's fine. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. American pie, that. American cheese. Promote the uh, promote the dairy industry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, this is the moon pie eye, which is a special treat that uh, Mrs. Uh, what's her name again? Madam Mrs. Truffle. Madam Truffle. Sorry, Madam Truffle. Is she? Is she, a, is she a you know protagonist or antagonist in this film? Who can say? <laughs> Okay, so that's okay. So that's where I think, personally, I think they differ. All right. Okay. So, 
Um, a little background in in the movie. There is this uh, cook character, Madame Truffle, uh, probably the most well rounded out, even in the in in the songs themselves. Yeah. Um, but um, she's keeping yeah. the kids in a box. The in kids box. who, who yep. beeped out at the beginning, they're in mm-hmm. a box with her now. Yeah. Uh, they're small in a box that she keeps in her house. Yep. Yep. And, and she um, makes them go uh, collect ingredients for her to bake uh, goodies, including a moon pie eye. Yes, yes, which is, is very, very good. Yes. Very powerful. It's supposed to be really great. It looks good. I would eat it. It looks tasty. It sort of looks maybe like it's made of Play-Doh. It looks, like, yeah, it looks like a Dr. Seuss kind of uh, uh, dessert. Maybe. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, so this is where I think it differs from the track from the the soundtrack to this i think that in the soundtrack she's maybe a antagonist but in the movie she's like i guess neutral ish in the i'm kind of but i don't it's hard to say because it even in the soundtrack it starts out with her sounding like she's just fine uh yeah. like if you don't know she's forcing these kids in a box to do her bidding yeah, uh, yeah, she would be great. She's just baking, and everybody likes the things she bakes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Even in the movie, when they're showing her, it's it's all very friendly. Like it's like a bad it is thing. All that's going very on. friendly. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what makes. But the, but then, if you just listen to the music, there's a lot of like, yeah, kind of weird, ominous stuff going on sometimes. Some sinister so I don't know. overtones. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it just seems more sinister. But yeah, in the in the in the movie, they're clearly having fun. Like the kids are I having like a the good line, time. I like the line in the song about how she'll never know the love of a man because he'd be sure to find the box and would never understand. Uh, they don't really explore that, <laughs> like le- uh, her loneliness. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> as a no, character that's, uh... in the movie. That's a pretty uh, good. Uh, well, you said it's like a twenty-three minute long movie. Yeah, there's right? not so much you can fit in. Yeah, it yeah, sounds yeah. like you should have made this like an hour long, but you know, <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm so not producing a 20- I believe. I believe the these box... are the meager profits they made off of the album. They can produce 23 <laughs> minutes worth of stuff. Yeah, I yeah, I would think that's accurate looking at the the play count, but um, I think that uh, yeah. So in in the in the songs the box represents something else than in the movie right oh interesting yeah yeah because uh, what do you th- what do you think it represents i think that it's suggesting that he, he she's going to find a man that doesn't know what to do with her box and doesn't oh, know you how think to the like... box is like a vagina yeah the box yes. is like a sexual since, it, since, it's jeff, vagina. since it's jeff mangum we're talking about here <laughs> I think that there is some, there's got to be some sexual thing happening too. Uh, I don't know. Kids under I, thirteen, <laughs> stop listening. I never, I never. If you're listening already, I don't know one. why. Uh, what? <laughs> I never. That interpretation never occurred to me. I I usually have my head in the gutter too. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, me too. Um, you know, I like a lot of you know Hollywood handbook and the like. You know, um, Freud always yeah. said sometimes a penis is just a penis. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But, uh, I, uh, I don't know. Sometimes, and maybe this box is just a box. The box that has the, you know, she she puts the kids in in the in the movie. Their little, she's got like a. It's it, it would be like a Hansel and Gretel situation if it weren't for the fact that there was this like rapport, you know. Yeah, they they're enjoying each other's company. The kids are having a blast. They're yeah, just yeah. like this. They're stoked. This is a cool yeah. adventure for them. Yeah, yeah, they're like in a lot of danger, but they don't seem to really mind. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not so bad. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this next track is a little break in the CD layout. Um, we've added it back in uh, Parish Post Office. Um, oh yeah, so this is a bonus track. Edition. Yes, so this is a bonus track. Um, that um, well, in the version that you that it has the bonus tracks, it's all mixed in. So it's yes, like, that's how they are in the in the CD. So yeah, for so. the listeners, Brad uh, asked me. He said, "Do you want to do? We like to do the original version of the album, not with the bonus tracks. But if you want mm-hmm. to do a couple, then tell us a couple of the bonus tracks that you like, and we'll include them. So this is one of the. There's like a bunch more. 
uh, yeah, there's throughout the 26 album. total tracks for the deluxe edition. So yeah, um, we have we have about half of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one I like. This uh, this is just uh, you know it's just a song I like. <laughs> yeah, I I enjoyed the ones that you you included. I, I was very surprised that the ones you included were not on. Well, the this is my thing because when you did. asked me that, it I totally so I had like downloaded i must have downloaded this album at some point like that's yeah. how i first heard it i like somebody told me about it and i was like oh i want to hear that so i downloaded it and i, yeah, I fell yeah. in love with it like immediately i was like oh this is this is like my album i'm all about this yeah. and then i just listened to it a bunch and it but it was just the original like the the core like 19 oh, you know tracks what? and then i went to that holiday surprise uh show and I bought yeah. the CD, and that's how I got all the bonus tracks. But so for the past 10 years or whatever, that's the only version of the album I've listened to. And I totally forgot that all these tracks are bonus tracks because they're all mixed in with the album. I think maybe what happened is that, because, okay, these were released, um, you know, same year. So I think they were released at the same time, I believe. Um, and I think maybe the one with more tracks is Elephant Six, and maybe the one with less is Orange Twin. That could do it. The I mean, one with less tracks, it would make sense if that if there's like a vinyl and a CD version, it would make sense that less tracks would be the vinyl version, uh, just because of the yeah. time constraints. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what we're working with now. Maybe that's what this is. is this is the vinyl, and it's the CD that, that was. That could be. Know, maybe I got this all all backwards. But the whatever MP3 version yeah. I downloaded yeah. back in like 2009 was also just the 19 tracks. Okay, okay, um, interesting, interesting. Yes, I don't know. So we'll call that two out of three? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, this is Parish Post Office. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that about sums uh, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More of that kind of. Uh, feel like the, the, there's times where it shows that circusy kind of feel. Yeah, get, big time. That you get from what is it? Uh, was it Robert Schneider that did? No, Julian Costner that was the the circus yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This must be Julian Costner coming through. Could but, could but well I, be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I also do like that they don't. Uh, I like that they kind of leave you to guess. Like, oh, like you're like, oh, that's Jeff Manger's voice. Oh, that's Kevin Barnes' voice. Like, I know they're singing here, but like, yeah, it's you. Yeah, you kind of have to just be like, well, this yeah, is a, take it as a whole. This sounds like a female vocalist. Yeah, um, for sure. So that is, I don't, I don't think it's any of them unless they've done vocal effects on the vocals. I think her name is Laura Carter, but that might be another person. There were, I mean, I think a lot of these people were involved in the movie because um, I think yeah. there was a Laura Carter in the the credits of that. That sounds right to me, and so. she was also in uh, Neutral Milk Hotel, I think, at one point. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of those know. those yeah, th- to those, milk. yeah, yeah. The whole Elephant Six, you know, they're always intermingling. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I think uh, in an airplane came in '99. I want to say. Mm, that sounds maybe right. Yeah. 98, 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is after, yeah, it was after that that they kind of, you know, wanted to take a back seat and chill out. Yeah. Do what they want to do for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, yeah, we have uh, more tracks to get to. We're going to go right through on to track uh, seven. We have, uh, well, it's track, uh, it's track eight now. But um, this is uh, track seven The Fireman's Guitar. There we go. That's uh, that's in the in the movie. That's in the scene where uh, the guy's eating his uh, depressing plate of uh, depressing pot of spaghetti. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a there's a, a very abrupt in scene the tin transition. Can, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's eating a whole uh, um, 
uh, it was a, a pan of spaghetti. Yeah, sitting and... at the kitchen table, you know, in a wife beater, eating just yeah, out of a pot. Yeah, it was a very depressing pot. scene. <laughs> you can see that you can see where he's put his spoon down many times before. Cause yeah, there's a good just, stain on the table. His table just got a stain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does this every day. And he's smoking, he's a, smoking cigarette a cigarette while, while he's eating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a yeah. fresh part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, just a yeah, real, real gem. It's a real contrast to the rest of the whole tone of the rest of the, this character is like very out of place in this world. So that's of, what, like, okay. whimsy that's and what, stuff. That's something that makes me think, because like, what are the kids getting for her? What are the kids getting for Madame Truffle? Well, in this scene, they're getting a box of Powdered Egg Lincoln. Okay, uh, actually, that's a, you're right. This is the wrong part of the the story to ask that question. Is, this is the one is time Powdered Egg Lincoln. You'd think this would it's be the t- track called Powdered Egg Lincoln, but that track comes later. It yeah, looks like yeah. a cereal box that's full of uh, you know a mysterious white powder that is presumably Abe Lincoln. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. That is that is what <laughs> we are meant to assume. Yeah, uh-huh. this guy for some reason just has it in his house. The only place you can get it is on top yeah. of this guy's fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it kind of foreshadows the uh, there's a, there's two songs with Abe Lincoln in the title, um, yeah. but yeah, they they grab that so many drugs. and they they have like they kind of run around for a minute cause, and the guy like sees them and they keep disappearing and reappearing. Yeah, they do like a Benny Hill sort of chase each other around the house yeah, situation. Yeah. Yeah. And um these people had to have been on so many. Oh. And then back to the box. <laughs> back to the box in uh Yeah, right back. As in, soon as they Madame complete Truffles. their mission, they're back yeah. into the box, yeah. Yeah, 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 which makes me me think that um I, I feel like in a way like well, first of all, Madame Truffle seems to be probably a witch. Of probably some like sort, a, for sure. Probably a good witch, but yeah, maybe, maybe even like a wizard or warlock, because yeah. of the beard thing. She yeah, um, she she shows up with a beard later. Yeah, briefly. yeah, yeah. So I think that she's like, she's like getting these guys to like harvest. Like first they're taking pictures of. Uh, uh, yeah, they take uh, a like pictures telephone of telephone poles. poles, and she uses these in her baking. So yes. she, they take Polaroids of telephone poles, which she then dumps into a yeah, mixer yeah. and mixes with. But I, I believe that like she throws alien. out she throws out the ones that are pictures of just trees because there are some she trees, like trees. That she doesn't seem to like for her mix. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so um. Yeah, it, it makes me wonder. Like, is she like somehow absorbing um things from from our reality, like some um. Something oh, that she can't access from her own reality, and she's u- using it uh, to flavor her sort of otherworldly recipes. Yeah, well, I, I think that she needs this uh, uh, moon pie eye thing yeah. to become powerful. You know what I mean? Like, like it, it seems looks like powerful when she like pulls it out. Once she attains the moon pie eye, she gets the beard, and and she seems to have extra powers. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah this so. is this is more analysis than I've ever than I've ever tried to do on on <laughs> the this. Moon pie. <laughs> I started welcome just to the, welcome to the album concept, Dharma. Yeah, friend, where we <laughs> overly think about every album we we pick. I, I mean, started just I, listen to it and watch it. And go, I like that. I've and just been thinking on. about the, the multiverse for a while, and oh, there, there's a troubling part in the very end that that. Just it, it 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 draws questions about okay. how this universe operates. Yes, that's so. true. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll learn more as we listen. Uh, this next track is uh, more about the Moon Pie Eye. This is Moon Moon Pie Eye Sensation. Oh, I love this track. <laughs> You picked my favorite uh, part of the song. I'm glad. I was hoping that would be the clip you would <laughs> yes. pick. Yes. That's good. Awesome. Awesome. I love that. Uh, again, another another great Extremely transition. Extremely jarring. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you get your, your classic Jeff Mangum uh, yeah. vocals at the end there. Yeah. But before that, you get like kind of a almost spiritual like ohm type yeah. of thing going on. And a nice choral droning sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and then someone like laughing or something on <laughs> what sounds like a, a, a tape recorder, could a handheld well tape be. recorder, maybe. <laughs> Just like giggling. The yeah. trip is getting worse. <laughs> or better, depending on your perspective. That's yeah, true. Yeah. That's very true. Well, I feel like if, if you the were... The trip yeah. is neither bad nor good, my friend. No. It just simply is. It just is. is. <laughs> but no, I feel like this is... You. This is a track you uh, like would be a cool thing, um, either in a spiritual setting or, you know, in a tripping setting. It's a, oh, big It's time. like a very... Um, yeah, centering, meditative kind of thing. But now I'm trying to think about if I ever listen to this album on some drugs. <laughs> I for sure got into it, like, you know, at a time when I was doing a bunch of drugs, but I don't know if... Uh, In particular, if that ever... Yeah, I don't know if paths. I ever did. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Because uh, it seems like it would have been great. Maybe oh, this well. was your... <laughs> um, this, this is what this got me out of it. This was your gateway drug, was <laughs> this music. So yeah, yeah, it informed uh, the the later, <laughs> the later uh, things. <laughs> uh, primed it, primed you for it, you know. What yes. I mean? um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I, I, I really don't know about tripping and listening to certain things or watching certain things. I know some people are very into that, uh, yeah. but. It's also uh, 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 something that sounds terrifying in some <laughs> contexts. So yeah. uh, keep that in mind if you are uh, if you are a uh, inexperienced tr- tripper. Don't do um, drugs, kids. Don't don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> and if you do, uh, look up some information on the internet before you do them. Be um, be smart. Be smart about it, kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't yeah, be yeah. a dope, kids. Don't be a dope. Hey, Wear kids. Your condoms. Grow up. <laughs> That's a that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Rem- remember that. That's our public PSA from yeah. the album concept album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've been talking a lot of the last couple of episodes about drugs, guys. But uh, <laughs> we do that's not our, endorse. Is it our fault? Is it remember, because you brought us on? Remember what Nancy said. Just say no. <laughs> yeah. Do everything. Yeah. yeah. Just say no to everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The opposite and, of Jim Carrey or, is Nancy Reagan. <laughs> Say no to everything. Say no to Nancy. Yes. Uh, we have uh, a few more tracks. I bet her and uh, Ron, I bet her and old Ronnie had a wild sex life. Oh yeah, they're still <laughs> going in hell, man. Jesus they're banging Christ. each other all day in hell. <laughs> <laughs> all day, every day. Sorry Swimming, if you think that they're laughing, in heaven. Playing. No, it's okay. It's okay. I I, I don't. <laughs> I, I think that they're in the ground. <laughs> And I'm glad. Uh, this is swimming, laughing, playing. Sure. Uh, speaking of what we were talking well, speaking about. Speaking of playing. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so that's... As so advertised. That's, that's some of the sinister stuff I think I was referring to earlier. But they're just well, talking about swimming, laughing, playing. It sounds yeah, great. But I don't know, man. I don't like the way that they're, they're talking about it. It's just... I don't know. That's it good. seems Come like on, there's some, something more going on. I don't know. This is all making me very uncomfortable. I don't, I don't know about this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was very... Uh, yeah, it's, it's very... like It's got the kind of like whispery kind of... I'm a Is big this like fan of Montreal, of, uh, kind of. I mean, th- um, no, this is okay. this is like a maybe an Olivia Tremor control adjacent. Okay, um, okay. A lot, definitely parts of this album are like, you know, like early of Montreal. They became like a you know synth pop. They just yeah, became like a. That's the stuff that I total was most. Full-on. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff I was most familiar with. Like, their I don't earlier know their stuff early is stuff at all. Their early stuff I like a lot more because I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big you know synthy poppy kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but their early stuff is super. It, like their first couple albums are like almost twee. Uh, okay, and and then they have like a real like just super beatly phase uh, that I love. Oh. Um, and it's it's like. A one hundred percent a different band than than what they yeah, sound like. Yeah, now. 
uh, which is still good, but it's much less for yeah. me than than yeah. the, the Beatley sort of lo-fi stuff. I, lo- I love like it this. when a band has a Beatley phase. I know. Oh, you got I know to. it's I know it's overplayed, but like, hey, you know, it's it's a it's a good format. Yeah, you know, there were good songwriters. <laughs> Tried, true, tested. It yeah. works. You know, do do what works. Do yes, yes. Do what works as long as it makes you happy. Yeah. Right. That's all you got to do. Yeah, yeah. I, or, yeah if, a, or if you just want to make money and you don't want to be happy, that's fine too. So it's you know? still you doing what works either way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, generally I'm a big fan of of uh, you know happy any any sort of opposite uh, like a dichotomy: happy lyrics, sad sounding song, or spooky mm-hmm. sounding song, spooky yeah. lyrics, happy song. You just you know. Yeah, yeah. Making uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think that this uh, this definitely represents uh, that kind of uh, thing. Like it has some, you know, sinister stuff, some happy stuff, every, everything in between, you know. Um, and you know, like like in an airplane over the sea, it had a lot of really dark stuff going on. Yeah, um, for sure. You know, behind a lot of really, like really poppy vocals, you know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, similar thing happening here. Yeah, it's like um, a vibe. Yeah. But um, we're going to take a quick break, though, uh, and get, uh, before we get into the second half of the Let's podcast, we have on the other half of this, uh, Barry's Lung is uh, the next track. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. I wonder if Barry's the cigarette smoking guy. I, You know Eating what? Spaghetti. Let's just say, yeah. <laughs> I, I I can't imagine who else it would be Yeah, I never thought movie, about that before. So, uh, it's got to yeah. be, right? Yeah, yeah maybe he's, there's something in there he doesn't know about. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe that's maybe that's the, the uh, uh, what what is it called? Um, the eye of the duck for this, you know? The eye of the duck. No, I've never heard that expression. Oh, it's something that, uh, 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 what's what the, the Twin Peaks guy, it, it's, it's one of his things. Okay. A yeah, Lynchian yeah, yeah. David. Da- yeah, yeah. David Lynchian thing. He's all about that eye of the duck. Okay. Um, I, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. If you want to learn about the eye of the duck, go listen to Pick Part the Passion episode something with Martel Chapman. He explains <laughs> all of it in great detail. <laughs> great. Um, but um, yeah, yeah. We're gonna um, go on a break, and we will be right back. Welcome back to the Album Concept Hour. I am your host, Brad LeBaron, as I always am. And uh, we have our co-hosts, John and Jake. And uh, we are about to Hey, embark. where's Jingleheimer Schmidt? Uh, <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, where's, where's <laughs> his brother? Where's hey, his brother? His name is my name or whatever. <laughs> we do have, yeah, we do have John, Jake, and Jim today. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're halfway Square. there already. Extremely um, cool. But yeah, we have our guest uh, uh, Jim Warren from uh, Inspector Thirty Four. I'm uh, here. here with us um, now. I, I was going to ask: Is that your um, is that your only project uh, musically? No, um, I okay played drums in two other bands. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, one of them is called Squash. That's uh, right. We have an album hopefully coming out this year. Yeah, uh, and the other one is called Dad Doxer. Dad and, Doxer. Uh, yeah, and that is a new okay. band. Uh, okay, I that, like the title. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's my roommate's uh, band. It really, I didn't join the band until uh, quarantine. They have okay. some recording. They have some recordings up that I'm not in, but we're doing. A, we're in the midst of getting stuff ready to do an album, and we, you know we'll play shows when we're allowed to play shows again and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're getting there. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vaccines are going out. But, We're all um, vaxxed in in this yeah. household. Nice, nice. I'm so, I, uh, I'm still trying to yeah. get mine set. Uh, Me too. Yeah, I'm behind. I know. I'm just I've just been busy. Not your yeah, fault, buddy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm it's I'm like home. I'm like home most of the time. You know, like I don't. I like being home. I don't like going places. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I've Last really... year's been great for you. Yeah, no, it's been too great, and uh, <laughs> that's the problem, I think, is that uh, soon, soon this uh, this lifestyle is not going to be different. You know, I'm going to <laughs> go back and hang out with it's people in cars again. You know, yeah, I um, figure out how to deal with that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we are uh, getting back into major organ and the adding machine. Um, that's the album. Yeah, that's the album we were doing. Um, oh, I was going to ask, are you done with that? Uh, uh, did you finish that project you were working on, the arts thing? 
I did, um, yeah. Yeah. It's done. It's in the can, but it's okay. not out yet. I'm still okay. not allowed okay. to say who it is. Awesome. Yeah, it's I love very it. I love makes it. it seem very cool when I say I can't tell you who it is, doesn't Dude. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're gonna you're gonna tell us, of course, at the end of the episode. But oh, um, for sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I'm 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 really stoked to see whatever it is because like uh, yeah, you uh, we we talked about last time you were on. You did you know the drawing for the gray house video. Yeah, yeah. Or the the foreground animations and stuff. Yeah. Um and uh, yeah, the animation yeah. is fun. I, I yeah, I got I got this job uh, because uh, somebody saw that video and liked it and wanted me to make a music video. So wow, okay, that's, that's what I've nice. been doing. And hell yeah, you know. So if anyone wants to hire somebody to animate them anything at all, and I'm, I'm for hire, I'd love to stop working in a warehouse. You can plug yeah. yourself. We, we the do dream. plugs at the end. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say. Remember, um, remember that. Remember to plug yourself. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll oh, I'll definitely. plug myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got to plug. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to get on to our first track back at this. We, uh. We're about halfway through the album, and yeah, we let's have do it. Barry's lung, which we established is the uh, the the person that that has the jarring transition where he's eaten his. Got to be the sad, lonely man. Sl- sad, lonely man who kind of represents the middle between the the children and the old folks that this are is most true. of the characters. Yeah, yeah. All right, here sad is middle age. Barry's lung. <laughs> It does sound sad. Yeah. Hey, what you looking at? <laughs> your lung, dude. <sighs> your lung looks kind of fucked up, man. Like you, you got a spot that, on your lung. Did you get that looked at? I yeah. can see it. I can see it from here. <laughs> like, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's more That's... implied in the the film. It's uh, yeah. We're 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 you know making an educated guess based on his lifestyle <laughs> of smoking while he eats. Um. <clears throat> Boy, he just. But, but yeah, we have the yeah we have the we have Barry in his kind of bachelor lifestyle, you know, as opposed to the uh, the the Madam uh, Truffle, you know, who's got kind of a nice kind of. She's something of a bachelorette herself, though, yeah, isn't she? Yeah. You know, she'll but never she know the seem... love of a man, but she's happy with it. Yeah, yeah, she seems cool with it. Yeah, yeah. she seems like she's she's having she's an got all a right thriving time. small business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess the guy did have one thing that she needed, though. She, she he's he got the powdered a, a blinking. Powdered a and blinking. she has a dark secret of you know yeah, enslaving yeah. children. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, temporarily, you know, Je- not, it is temporary. It is temporary, but um, you know, I don't, I don't think they had control whether they can go in and out of that box. No, for know? sure, she's think... in charge of that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The power dynamic, you know, it's just. <laughs> But um, uh, yeah, that's just that's like a short one. That's just uh, how yeah, it's long a nice, is that track? I really enjoy this this track though. It's it's it is another it's a one. palate cleanser. It's like a nice uh, yeah yeah. There's not like any like you know um, you know weird noises or anything. Yeah, it's, it's very it's very natural. It's it is very, what it is. Yeah, just an just an accordion, right? Just yeah, it's an accordion, a little piano. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not a lot to say about this one. Barry, nice. get that, Barry, get that looked at. Um, <laughs> but uh, this next track is called uh, "Water Dripping on Bread Makes Bread Taste Not So Tasty." That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ad infinitum. So that to me is is like maybe the most uh like of Montreal song from like okay. this yeah. from like this era of of Montreal though. Is this you before know, of Montreal did the popier stuff? Yeah. I can't this, really remember their history too much. Yeah, this this was like 
it is transitional like from the super beatly stuff and they did some more like experimental stuff yeah yeah like this is like this is like the last 30 seconds getting... of a beatles song yeah where it gets weird for a second but they don't have a full song for it it's just like yeah yeah it's yeah. like the end of a day in the life Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's a prime example of that. Just the first hits. time, the first yeah. time I ever heard that, me and uh, Trevor and some other people were like sitting in a basement, or you know, uh-huh. past doing kids stuff, and that song like ended, and we're like, uh, and then all of a sudden, like freaked us out. We're like, was that? Turn it off! Turn it off! Yeah, yeah. You guys had too many fruit snacks. Got freaked out. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. Sugar high, man. But um, drinking, yeah. drinking a little bit. Yeah, yeah, drinking that Mountain Dew it just gets you really jacked. It gets you zipped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, when you're a kid. Um, but uh, yeah, this uh, it, it is very much though that yeah, it's giving that Beatles. Uh, There's a lot, though. It's a very in your face kind of a song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, a lot going on. Yeah, even, yeah, even just like his, you know, the vocals are like. Is this in the top, talking over each other? Yeah, yeah, like they don't, they don't really sound like they're from the same thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But is this in the movie? It is in the movie. Uh, it's over the scene where it just keeps cutting to the kid. She's like, "This is going to be your hardest mission of all," and uh, yeah, that's... then it's uh, it's just like a bunch of shots of the kids. They're like on a boat, and then they're you know. Oh, this is like the around. montage. Yeah, the montage where it's them yeah, and Francisco yeah. run, and it keeps cutting between them and Francisco. That's right. Uh, we should explain Francisco before he gets here. Um, yeah. There is there is another character that shows up uh, uh, at the old folks' home that was mentioned. Yeah, earlier. Francisco. Francisco. Uh, a, uh, he sh- he's the old folks summon him to help the kids. The old folks. Some sort the old of man, deity of some kind. Yeah. The, the old man sees that Madame Truffle has kidnapped these kids, and so yep, he yep. summons Francisco to rescue them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so they, so Francisco shows up. Franc- yeah, Fran- Francisco has been summoned to rescue the kids. I guess is the yeah, 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 yeah. He is he is like a a daemon, a that you savior. Summon to yeah, he uh, looks like a powdered wig uh, Napoleon type guy. Yeah, definitely. So what you're definitely. telling me is this is like a live action version of heavy metal. Uh, uh I guess I mean heavy metal is a little more fleshed the same out. Same kind of randomness. Yeah, I mean that's that's a that's a fair I think assessment. But um, it's been a minute since I've seen heavy metal. But uh, yeah, it's an assortment. Of, but heavy metal is more an assortment of stories. With That's like point. one yeah, in the background. This is all one. This is like if there was no stories in between, it was all the, in, <laughs> you know, those were all just cut out. You know? All the weirdness. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. the, just the weirdness. It's yeah. purely yeah. connective tissue. Yeah. So, um, yeah, in, in the in the scene then, he is running. Francisco summoned uh, from the old folks uh, that only have Amish beards. He is summoned yeah. out of the TV. Um, uh, where earlier there was a performance that I believe included major, uh, organ, right? Wasn't, ma- isn't major organ oh, like maybe. A, a character, a very, very not defined character in this, uh, uh story? Maybe. I might've missed that. <laughs> He's listed as a band member, but okay. I don't, there's not. They, no one. They, I don't think at any point they mention who that is. So there might be a fifth. I don't member. know. These, they also do. St- they also like doing weird stuff. Uh, well, apparently there's. That's like that's their whole. Th- I don't know. If it's the thing, but that's one of the things. You don't know who's in the band. <laughs> right, right, and you don't know who. It maybe it is one of these members, but that's but, the. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. They. They. The whole. These guys also like to do like. Uh, uh, Julian Ju- Julian Coster's uh, project, um, the music tapes. Uh, you know they have the eight foot tall metronome, and that's just an eight foot tall metronome. But the, okay. sometimes the, it'll be credited uh, as, as something. Uh, There's yeah. also the eight track gorilla. Yep, the eight track gorilla. Yeah, who is featured uh, in the film. 
<laughs> the eight foot tall metronome is a cool eight foot tall functioning metronome that I have seen them use live. And, oh, uh, that exists. It's, okay. Yeah, it's actually they brought it with them on tour, and it's wow. really cool. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Um, that I would not expect that honestly. I vouch. I can. I can vouch for the eight foot tall metronome. Yeah. Yeah. Do they? Uh, I mean, no, they probably don't still play. I, I think this is probably done. But, oh, um, like as major organ? No, I think the closest they ever came to like doing that on a regular basis was those Elephant Six Holiday Surprise tours, but they haven't done those in years. Mm-hmm. And they had like compilations uh, that uh, were attached to those, right? Uh, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. And er, like like earlier uh, stuff from this project came out on one of those. And yeah. that's when people were assuming it was like just a, you know, neutral milk side project. That makes um, sense. Uh, but it was much more than that. It was a super group. Um, was very much so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to another track here. We got Walking in the Sun, not on the sun. Not walking the, not, in the sun. Yeah, yeah, Walking in the not Sun. Not Walking in the Sunshine. Not walking in the sunshine. <laughs> not walking on the sunshine. No, no, not not. Yeah, in in the sun, inside of the sun. Yes. So walking in the sun. <laughs> I love that song. I do enjoy that one too. It's a it's, real jam. Yeah, it's surprisingly uh it's like I got like a real hefty, heavy kind of tone and sound. Yeah. Uh, it just fucking slaps, you know. <laughs> I think that this is an album that gets better with re listens. I agree with that. I think Having the first to it a lot of times. Yeah, like I mean, this, I'm like maybe you know I've I've heard it like maybe you know two or three times now while preparing or whatever, um, but yeah, every time I hear these songs again though, I'm like, man, this is like, yeah, this is pretty cool. I think part of that is <laughs> at first it is like a lot, like you, it, it's yeah. you, it's so much to take in right at once. Yeah, but yeah. like once you come back to it and you be like, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, this one, I remember this. And uh, yeah, once I, it's, once you start seeing what's coming yeah. next, you're like, fuck yeah. Well, I feel like you could take uh, little parts of this and mix these into like killer hip hop songs. Oh, for you sure. You know what I mean? There's, there's a, a lot whole of album of great samples. There's a lot of stuff that's very loopable. You know what the, I mean? Uh, was uh, did. Was Dance of the Telephone Poles one of the bonus tracks I Indeed. that you included? Yeah, yes. that that is ready made. You don't have to do anything Absolutely. to that song. Absolutely. It's a fucking hip hop beat. Like it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um we just talked about um MC DJ on side B uh the other day. That is Childish Gambino's earlier moniker. Oh wow. Um, back when he was just doing remixes of some stuff. But yeah. he remixed um, Illinois uh, by Sufjan Stevens. Oh yeah, right. And it's got like some of it. Some of it kind of reminds me of this, you know. Like I feel huh. like MC DJ could have uh, taken this and like turned it into. Could really something. do something yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. There's some really. Um, uh, it, this feels kind of punk rock a little bit, too. Yeah. You know, and uh, in the background is saying um, it's backwards, but saying coughing. Has to be how. <laughs> don't know okay. what that. Don't know what that means, but not a clue. Apparently, there's some lyrics there. I guess it's in there. Guess, guess it's in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You tell us. You tell us what it means. And then there's some backwards scatting. So. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. What more can you ask for? Yeah, yeah. So they must have taken someone scatting and then like reversed it or something. I love the idea that know. somebody. Took like listen to this and was like, no, I really want to know what. And they like re- listen to it backwards to figure that out. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> no, I've never, I've never done anything like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it was no, you, wasn't it? Not you for this podcast. <laughs> not for this podcast. I wouldn't take something that sounds like it's going backwards and and flip it in my uh, my my DAW. You would never uh, ever. I would. Do I would that. never do something like that. Uh, <laughs> never do something so maddening. Yeah. No. If I if I hear if I hear this uh, uh, enough times, I probably will. 
I'll, I'll probably go down that that dark path. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, to each uh, his own. Well, now we need you know now we need to know if he's right. You know. Yeah, for sure. So this I is just to... one person's interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just uh, who, who do we have the the contributor here? The this is just the interpretation of Jam Jam Jelly. All right. Well, that's you not know. a trustworthy name at all. No, well, I mean, they got an okay score though on Genius. I will say. All right. All right yeah, 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 yeah. They got uh, what six thousand two hundred fifty three. Okay, not score. bad. Yeah, I have I'm no at a, a reference for whether that's good or bad. Well, I'm at a little over. Uh, uh, what am I at right now? Uh, just double checking my IQ. I like to update people on my my Genius IQ score. Sure. Um, man, I got a bunch of points when I added your album up there. Man. Yeah, I bet you. I yeah, bet you yeah, that's yeah, yeah. skyrocketed you to the moon. Oh man. yeah, yeah, yeah. It gave me more <laughs> editing capabilities. I'm almost at a thousand. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty yeah, huge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> thank you for for uh, uh acknowledging that the least um, i can do yeah um but yeah this next track uh is the song uh transmission um well it's uh it's just, it's it's kind of a it's a song and a transmission um, yeah 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 so here we go all right so yeah. um been yeah. me whip it. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah talking to them, them uh twin peaks voices uh, yeah in this this track yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's very like sci-fi those children saying you know something yeah i i at first i thought it was saying say shit sort of fuck whatever. shit fuck it does sound like it. it does shit definitely sounds like like that yeah it definitely when i had like... a when i had a college radio show i used to uh, play this album on it all the time i would just do the full album Oh really? Uh, and so that's awesome. Uh, didn't think you could that, do that. I didn't think you could that, do that. There's no. Uh, well, who's who was listening? It depends yeah, on college, true. I guess. <laughs> college radio, it's great stuff, guys. Yeah, just had, you know, if it's late at night, who the fuck cares? We had an um, unfilled time slot on Sunday nights at eleven o'clock, and I would, yeah. I had like three other shows throughout the week, but yeah, this one yeah. I would just. It was never an official show. I would just show up and do it was my a side project. While I played full albums. I just yeah. like awesome. played. I like play three or four albums while I did my God, homework. You're so and go home. much braver than I am. I <laughs> oh, I was the general manager of the station, so I could oh, do it. Oh, okay, no, <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get there it was now. no one to uh, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one. Doing the, that's, that was doing my the Lord's was, work. That was my worry that the you know general manager and program <laughs> man, you know they'd all be listening. So you, I learned. I get it. Yeah. I get I it. Didn't, I didn't learn about the rule that that wasn't allowed until you know uh, after I'd been doing that show for a while. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, I'll just you know you can just keep just just you know you can keep doing it, I guess. Yeah. But and well, I'm I only. Learned- <laughs> I'm only logging it for the charts as one thing, right, so right, it's okay. Right. I'm not to logging them, all Right, the unless somebody called you out for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this yeah. album sort of plays. It's one it plays like one continuous. I would always try to do. I was gonna say you you could like definitely play a thing. huge chunk of this with no one noticing that. Oh, right, right. right, one track. You know, unless they actually knew what you were playing. Yeah. 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 I yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned about the Millennium Copyright Act in like. 2010 and then like i got re- yeah yeah i got retrained um well i i had a, that's when i like started get going on the radio and then a couple yeah. years later i got retrained for uh uw madison student radio and they're like yeah yeah just yada yada through it so i don't know <laughs> I, yeah. I'm sure it's still not allowed, but I don't know. Yeah, it, it really, and, and like, who's ultimately who's enforcing? Right. It? Like the, with the thing with the FCC and like fining you, is the FCC's not listening. Somebody needs to report you right. to the FCC for them to come after you. Right. So if nobody's gonna do that, you're fine. Right. 
Just <laughs> gotta trust you, that's your the, listeners. That's exactly. the key. Your listenership needs to be small enough. Got to be cool. That small they got to be cool. cool enough. Likeable yeah, yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's it's harder when you get a bigger fan base or a bigger audience. You know, there's gonna be yeah. like a few that there's are like be some dweeb that wants to call mm, the FCC and complain. No. <laughs> Imagine which person in the world would go. I'm gonna complain to the FCC about something they heard on a <laughs> damn it, radio Karen. station. It is a psychotic yeah. person. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's very, very Karen energy coming <laughs> from that person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe... Mind your business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just gonna escape the podcasts anyway. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. You know, stop just well, stop complaining. Yeah, about and now with Spotify, <laughs> you can play full albums, anyways, and yeah. do so, the podcast radio yeah, show do, thing. Do, so FCC, do, do you want, want radio to keep being a thing? Like they don't. <laughs> Hands down, they do not. <laughs> it seems like they don't. Yeah. Um. But uh. Yeah. <laughs> no, the fact that you can't play a major league baseball broadcast on an FM station, like that. <laughs> For whatever reason, that is still a thing. Like, oh, that yeah. is yeah. ridiculous. I wonder why why kids these days aren't just obsessed with baseball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and I blame the FCC. Yes. Yeah. Even though it's probably, I don't even know. It's, it's F their the season, FCC. But, yeah. I'll you know say what I'm saying? Again. Remember, yeah. Peter, yeah. Peter said it best. What did he say? We- when, when he fought the FCC, <laughs> Sorry, there was a whole I, missed, song I missed that one, wasn't there? I missed yeah. that one. No, there was. Yeah. He did. They did yeah. a whole episode on. Okay, okay, okay. PTV, they would. I was waiting um, for the FC. line though, John. I thought you were going to come up with the I line. I set it up. The line. I said it, and then I forgot the line. Well, we'll insert it later, right? Yeah, Brad? yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. When the video version of this comes out on the Patreon, uh, uh, uh. Patreon exclusive. Yeah, patreon.com slash flyoverstatepark. You know the place. Um, We're going to move on, though, to another track. This is Abe Lincoln's mustache. So here we go. So uh, yeah, that's um. Brad's video disappeared. What? Did. Oh, your yeah, video's yeah, yeah. gone. Oh no! There he is. How? What happened? Goodness. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> the lights went out. That's yeah. the uh, Francisco coming out of the TV song. That is yeah. might be my favorite track on the album. I <laughs> really just su- <laughs> it's such a cool sounding thing. I love it. And again, another there thing. There are a lot of cool like you sound said, effects. It'd just be, yeah, the, it's it, it's like as a as a combination of just things that sound cool. This album is like fucking top of the list. Yeah, you uh, could take but, like five seconds of like uh, any part of this for just sound effects for different things. It's like a real yeah. real ASMR kind of experience. You, know? you could also this song is is one you for sure could sample the shit out of. Uh, yeah, for, yeah, for to, yeah. to like make a beat out of. Yeah, man, I need, man, I need someone out there that's that's sampling these weird indie things, you know. Hey, talk to uh, my bandmate and future guest on the show, Pat Auclair. Oh, the final, yeah. the final of the Inspector Thirty Four. Yeah, last numbers. piece in the puzzle. Yeah, he's got a yeah. whole side project. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be talking uh, about um, brand new's album, "The Devil and God Are Raging Inside Me." Yeah, he as told well me as, his plan for that. As well as the lead singer's uh, <laughs> yeah. Im- improprieties in, uh-huh. uh, in his career. <laughs> yes. Um, so that'll be fun. That'll be mm-hmm. fun because uh, uh, it's one of my favorite albums and one of my favorite bands uh, when I was growing up. And sure. uh, yeah, yeah, uh, new new stuff has come to light. You guys are going to have a blast with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun. Um, but, uh, but yeah, he's got a whole... He's got a whole uh, Okay. He makes he makes beats. You can. Ask he seems him like yeah. That. He seems like yeah. he's involved in a lot of a lot of he's things too. He's got a lot too. of yeah. a lot of irons in his fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he plays the the uh, pedals and he strums the, the guitar sometimes. And strums right? the guitar sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, he's yeah. also uh, you know he plays he plays drums in other bands. He's a drummer by training. Okay. I was gonna say okay. by trade, but I don't know if that's correct. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the right usage. He was originally trained in the drum. Yeah. You can ask him about, all of, about himself on his drum. episode. That's true. Let's, yeah. let's, let's bring the focus back yeah, on me. Yeah, yeah. I'm the star yeah, of the right? show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you play you play the guitar, which is not drums. And, and I it's don't strings. I don't use any pedals because I think it's stupid. Yeah, pedals it's just like you're like leaning on it, you know. Play the it's guitar like, if you're don't use your feet. What are yeah, you doing? Yeah. No, yeah, I'm gonna isolate some. Unless of this you don't have hands. Play this then, then if you don't have loud. hands it's okay, but yeah. be do, doing your feet on the guitar, <laughs> not on a pedal. I agree. I, I agree. Uh, the feet should be on the guitar in that case. Maybe it, you, you can clearly use your teeth to yeah. strum. I mean yeah. I saw it's been somebody done. do it. It was I famous. Did too. Yeah. It was I've famously seen, done. I've seen it countless times. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, you just so. got to get back up on the horse, guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, this next track is, I think, the real jam. Uh, uh, the first, at least the first jam on this one for me. This is the snack bar. And oh, I think yeah. This is one of the most. Uh, uh, this one's uh, a banger. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sampleable ones. It so. pops. It pops. This is the snack bar. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't know what any of that is. It's like, I don't know a, what any of these sounds are, but. As long as they sound good, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's almost like a broken kazoo or something. Like it feels like, yeah. It's gotta be. It's gotta be like this yeah, guy's got so interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, this is the part where they are. Uh, there's a line outside the door at the bakery. Yeah, this is the whole town is lined up yeah, outside yeah. of Madame Truffle's bakery to get all the goodies. Yeah, and yeah. So this is where this is where Madame Truffle or the old guy f- discovers that Madame Truffle has these child slaves, or uh, volunteers. Yeah, um, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. Which actually, I I, I have to retract. They they're, that means that they're not in an alternate universe. So there's not a different universe because if the old man and and Truffle and them occupy the same space. I think the all universe. of these people yeah. are in one universe that they've transported yes. the kids to. This is whole. Ah, uh, so the kids situation. have been transported into their universe. Yeah, the kids are from our regular universe where yes. things are the same, and then they've been transported to this crazy place. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? That tracks. That tracks. That that's that's what I thought you were saying before. So. I, yeah. You know what? As far I'm, as I'm, I'm glad... concerned, we've been on the same page the whole time. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 you, uh, you fixed the the problem that I thought I had. Thank you. <laughs> Um, there is there is still a multiverse in this in this uh, universe. So, oh sure, um, and who knows yeah. where Francisco came from too? He's another. Uh, yeah, that's possible. that's another that's an entirely different. Like he is, uh, I'm assuming a, uh, a a genie or daemon, you know, like yeah. just summoned some, uh, for some a specific kind of task. Figure. Yeah, and and when they're done with that task, they go away. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of which, um, I don't know if we fully explained what he ended up doing. So he got out of the TV. He uh, he had his little uh, his little uh, uh, theme song that we will get to next. That's the next um, song. And uh, yeah, actually, I think it yeah, Francisco's victory. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the next song. Um, but uh, yeah, he is uh, the powdered wig guy. He's running down the street towards Madame Truffle's bakery, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, then yeah. He, and um, he shows up and uh, yeah, he shows up. Takes him a while to get there, and he's tired. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what clip you you chose from this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, song, you know what? But, yeah, let's, let's let's just listen to it quick. Uh, I have uh, this is the this is one of the ones that I've doubled up again. So this is okay. Francisco's victory into Powdered Abe Lincoln, which we okay. have uh, we have explained what Powdered Abe Lincoln is <laughs> previously. So. Here we go. They said hooray, and then they shouted out the song. Francisco, Francisco, <laughs> you're truly an angel. We'll never forget this day.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, my judgment is approving of that uh, co- combination of tracks as well. Thank you. Thank you. I know you're on the edge um, of your seat waiting to find out what I thought. And Crunchy it was. I, I was gonna say, <laughs> like, that sounds like a little bit like that song. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, it was on Annie, I think. Da, 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 oh, I love you. It's tomorrow. Only... Love you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's, Tomorrow's a day away. away. Tomorrow's a day away. Yeah, yeah. Um, it kind of has a, it has a little bit that of statement. that going on. <laughs> um, but the, the okay, here was the really disconcerting part: is the the monotone. Vocal oh yeah. <laughs> going the entire time, start to finish, like. That it's, was almost grating on the ears for me as someone I, that I enjoyed harmony quite a bit. You know what I mean? I love me a good harmony. And it's like they're intentionally like not. I doing like that, that because it does like the the again the lyrical content sort of not jiving with with the the musicality of the song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but also because of this is like the opposite of what happens in the movie. Which is that Francisco yeah. shows up, is too late. Like, Madame Truffle is already about to send the kids home. They say, no, we want to stay with you because we like it here so much. Then Francisco shows up. The kids are like, ew, no, we don't like you. Yeah, you're and weird. Then, yeah, <laughs> and then that's, like, and then they just fuck off. And, like, yeah, he has, yeah. he's done nothing. His character serves no purpose in the movie. No, no, he not at all. Nothing at all, but I that's like. That's true. He is a complete. He's a red herring. He just <laughs> yeah, he's he shows a total up. Fucking red herring. Yeah, yeah. And See, I, they just I really disappear. Like, I, I really feel like there should be a Snyder cut of this of this film. The Snyder <laughs> cut. I <would> love that. <laughs> yes, like because right. there Let's is a whole like so more that we just film. don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I mean, you know, it, it's not too late. They're probably a lot of them probably still around, you know, doing stuff. Oh yeah. You know, we just need to get a get a hashtag like, going. I, I I will say this though, what what it feels like to me at least the major cut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what yeah. what this feels like to me is like they wrote the album first, right? And then they made these these changes in the process and they're just like, Yeah, that'll come out cool, right? The album <laughs> says one thing, but the movie says another thing. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like a it's like an artistic decision, you know. That's believable. That <laughs> yeah, is a believable yeah. explanation for it. Yeah, there's a lot of artistic uh, minds uh, uh, at work to make both of these projects happen. Like a lot the, of cooks in the kitchen. Yeah, the movie is a labor of love for sure. Yeah, like, for it sure. Is, uh, it is. Oh yeah, it's extremely of, DIY. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 worth. Like if this was at a film festival, I'd be like, that was fun. Like that oh, was yeah. a good time. You know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, um, um, yeah. That's I. That's I. I think it suits the song though. In that, like, you know, the lyrics are like, "Oh, Francisco is the best," but it sounds like, "Well, fucking no, he's not." Like this sounds so, okay. Bad. That's okay. That's again where this okay. The difference comes because okay, the the entire track. I'm just gonna read the lyrics for this one. Um, it's it's pretty much the opposite of the movie. Yeah. Um, a magic army came to set the children free one night. As Madame Truffle lay asleep, they crept into the sanctuary. One peculiar fellow led the army on that night. He went from bed to bed with his sword, and he cut the cord that circled around each child's head. You're free to go. You're free to go, he told each child one by one. Hooray, they said. Hooray. Then they shouted out this song. Francisco, Francisco, you're truly an angel. We'll never forget this. Never forget this day. Um, yeah. 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 So, it, it really does read like, yeah, they like had a concept that did the album and they were like, change a lot of things. Yeah. It's uh, more of a Hansel and Gretel. Gretzel. Yeah. Gre- Hansel and Gretel? Gretzel. <laughs> Gretzel. 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 <laughs> um, this is uh, pretzels. Pretzels. That's a great name for a pretzel. That's actually thing. not a bad. And then you can have Hansel involved in the logo. And they stick um, candy in the pretzels. Candy pretzels. He's chasing a little, <laughs> chasing, chasing a, um, a girl with a pretzel. I want the pretzel. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Freeport pretzels. Get on this. Get on um, it. That's a deep cut from nearby here. Yeah, I didn't get it, but I but I that's, signed off on it anyways. It, it's okay. My, my mom and dad will be proud. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't get it either. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, wow. It's it's not even local to here. It's uh, oh, it's just great. local to where my mom and dad are from. 
Um, so Freeport, deep, is that Maine? deep cut for all you Freeport pretzels out there that are really loving that someone outside of your small town <laughs> said it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, yeah, not much to say about Powder Day Blinken, though. Um, pretty much uh, yeah, kind no, of it's, it's treading like the a... same territory as the other Abe song. Yeah, you know? it's like an interlude. Uh, it sounds yeah. spooky. It's, it's good. It yeah. serves as a nice transition. Yeah. I feel like Abe Lincoln's mustache through powdered Abe Lincoln is like a whole like section and story of its own. You know what I mean? I it's, so- it's, it's Francisco's story. I sort of th- think of this album in chunks or sections like that. You yeah. know, I, I like... I couldn't tell you like which track has which name for the most part. Yeah. Like yeah. Barry's Lung. I didn't f- fucking remember. Wh- I was like, when you said <laughs> Barry's Lung, I was like, I f- Barry's Lung. I forget w- this song. But yeah. like, I know that part of the, I'm like, oh, that comes between this part and that part. So yeah, I sort of yeah. think of it in like, I don't know. Well, and in the movie, like Barry that. has more character development <laughs> than Francisco. <laughs> yeah, truly. <really>. So. <laughs> Yeah, he has an arc and everything. These kids come take his shit. They do a little routine and they he's disappear. Pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's got a. He's you know it's at least who, as much a character. Yeah, as you know who Barry is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got uh, four more tracks for you guys. This is right. uh, another one of the ones from the longer version. This is "Dance of the Telephone Poles" or Dance "Pole" track. single. This has to be in a hip hop track. I think that all the time, but I have never, I don't think I've heard it if there is, but it's got to be. Like, it's, it's, it's just too. If you it's heard too this, ready for it. yeah. If you heard this and you made beats, why you wouldn't know, you? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, why wouldn't you take this easy hit? All right, anyone yeah. making beats out there, I guess, take this. It's Someone weird too, it. because as far as I know, it doesn't. It's not in the movie. I can't remember th- this song. I don't think so. Because um, when they talk also, about the- like. I was going to say, when they talk about the telephone poles, it's to referring to the, the song, the His Mister's song. Pet Whistles, which yeah. they actually talk about it. Uh, yeah, and this one, like, it, it, like even, like, musically, it, it feels, like, a little outside of the album. You know, it, do, it uh, I know it's, like, album super all over the place, as is, but this... It, it just feels, like, a little out of place, in a way, but I, it's so great. I'm like... Yeah, Wait, you got to put it in there. Yeah, but uh, it's like a gorillas track kind yeah, of. Yeah, you know? it really it's has just... an almost gorillasy kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. But you can totally see why it wasn't included in like the like core cut of the album. But you got to yeah, include yeah. it. And coming out around the same time as the first gorilla stuff. So I mean, this yeah, isn't even true, like well tread yeah. territory either. So yeah, fuck. Um, yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah, that's two thousand one. So. Yeah. Yeah, this album was what? 2000, 2001? This is this is 2001. So they come out came out like concurrently. Yeah, okay. Wow, so, that's crazy. My yeah, yeah. development as a person and a listener of music would have been very different if I had gotten this album when I was 11 instead of the Gorillas album. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I feel like yeah, you, uh, Gorillaz maybe album was huge for me as a kid. Yeah. If this had uh-huh. found its way to me, I don't know what I would have fucking made of it. But <laughs> yeah, no, I would have definitely like there would have been like one or two tracks where I'd been like that was cool, but yeah. like I would have most part of you did no right no. over my head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. The brain is yeah. not ready to receive I, that yet. I yeah, for yeah, sure yeah. needed to grow into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or, or you know, use the assistance of uh, of some some kind of chemical. Uh, yeah. I think that you can maybe make it <laughs> make it make sense. Um, this one also has a, a very uh, uh, like era specific of Montreal kind of vibe to it. Okay, okay, so maybe yeah, this is like some early early seeds of that maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, like the bass. Like I would not be surprised if that was. Uh, the bass player. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Now that you mention it, like 
Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this definitely reminds me of some of that poppier, fun music video stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, I think that this is, but I mean, you know, it's it says dance of the telephone poles, but um, yeah, they collected the pictures of telephone poles uh, earlier in the story. It's Maybe true. this is just like another kind just of revisiting it, yeah. revisiting like them because they're you know having fun taking pictures of the telephone poles too. You know the, the yeah, this could have just been like little an boy and girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be chilling. They're well, it is also stuff. it just is also it is also right after they're freed by Francisco. So now so. they're dancing around all the telephone poles. Yeah, instead <laughs> of having to take pictures of them they and give these Polaroids fun. to Madame. Uh, Polaroid, by the way, very good. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of Polaroids in this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. They're not on the Madame job. They can just have fun. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, if they're, I'm assuming, yeah, in, in the in the song, not they're not cool with Madame Truffle in the the strictly the album. I don't think that they're tied no, to Madame Truffle. I, no, for sure she's um, like. So yeah. they're flipped for the for the album. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's cool. Like, I, I, I'd be curious about the process of. Me too. I because like it took like six years. Comparing, yeah, I feel like comparing the two is maybe like a a nice like window into the development of it in a mm-hmm. way. Yeah, yeah. Again, I'd love to uh, uh, see the features on that DVD that came out. Cause... They're great. It's it's yeah. nothing expository like that, but it is yeah. a, just a lot of cool like. It just like weird little short films that they that they made yeah. and like yeah yeah music videos and stuff yeah yeah i tried to buy that movie like when you sent it brad and i like watched you know watched it and then there's a link attached to it and it didn't work anymore so oh huh. it, should, it should be a free one version of the movie the whole well the no whole... no no it you worked. Started talking about the DVD. The DVD. Oh, 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 the DVD. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was the trying orange, to. I was like looking into it. I think it's still for sale on. If you just go to like whatever the Orange Twin Records website is, sure. I think they still have it for sale in their store. But I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice, nice. Because um, I don't think that label is defunct yet, but they might be. <laughs> who knows? Who, yeah, it looked like the days. page was around, but it just the link was inactive. But oh wow, yeah. I don't know. Okay, maybe they need to do some some updates on the website. Yeah, yeah. it's a hot collector's item now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, we got three tracks left for you guys. This next Let's track, we are returning to the Moon Pie Eye. This is Do the Moon Pie Eye. Do it. <laughs> What is that thing that you'd shake and you'd get that noise out of it, you know? Oh, is that a thing? A rattle? Like, uh, are you talking about the rainmaker? Oh. No, I know what you're talking about. It's It goes like, one way, and then you turn oh, it the yeah. other way, and it goes, Ey. I don't it's know. Like a little, it's like a tube, and then you can yeah. shake it and make it yeah. go, I mean, fuck, yeah. maybe that's what they used to make yeah. those noises. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is a weird noise. I forgot all about that weird toy. Yeah, but that it's like totally you're makes fascinated sense. as a child. Yeah. 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 But you don't see it in like band class. Yeah. No. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a very long time, but I'm like, no. that's definitely what that is. Fuck. That, that's interesting. I got to track one of those now. A, yeah. Well, like, yeah. Do you, you have one of those at, laying around? No. You find those that at, would like, be any, a lot cooler if I did. <laughs> you find those at any like <laughs> novel, <laughs> novelty shop, like, like you right. know, tourist shops where. where yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's a little thing for parents to distract their kids with yes. so they can leave them alone for five yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff that, that they're not going to buy them at all, but, right. uh, you know, they can Something play with Something for you to play with meantime. in a gift shop, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> Annoy your parents, and they go, I'm not spending three hours in the car with that. And... No, no way. <laughs> yeah, no fucking way. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, this was, uh, what, what the, 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 it brings back the moon pie eye here. The moon pie um, eye, big theme. Must have been a different, I think it must have been a different, represented something else in the the album, which I don't know. I can't really yeah, discern it, here. 
If but, it, I mean, it's it's the thing. It's like I guess the reason she kidnapped the kids. They're collecting all the ingredients so that she can make the moon pie eye. Yeah, yeah. But it's not really out of established. Children? Well, out of all the, the ingredients, out yeah. of the okay, Howard Lincoln and everything. Polaroid pictures and the... <laughs> Polaroids, uh, a bag of, like, a loud of, things. Of Lincoln. That, uh, the, uh, the powdered, powdered Lincoln. Lincoln yeah. And then they give her, like, a... I believe a we're talking sack. about a witch here, fellas. I believe gotta it's be a, some kind definitely of witch. a witch. Yeah, yeah. I it's the season that. of the witch. <laughs> definitely uh, the season of the witch up in here. Um, yeah, I I don't know what moon pie is though in the context of just the song. Because now that I know that there's some things changed, it's like I don't know. Maybe in this, it's actually just a moon pie. Yeah. And they're like they're like worshiping it or something. They're, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> They're doing it. Maybe the, I mean, they got their dance. RC Cola and their moon this pies. This is a sort of this is a danceable sort of song. Are yeah. is this is the moon pie eye? Are they doing the moon pie eye? It's a dance. It's mm. taking the well, yeah, yeah. When storm. you say you're doing a, a thing, it's usually yeah, do the twist. It's got to be a dance. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that you're right. Moon pie eye, and this is, uh, yeah, what they're. Maybe that's what the lobster's yeah. doing in the in the movie because. That's true. The what? This there's a lobster. song. This song is when the lobster is dancing on TV. I think. Oh, uh, so maybe, maybe the, that's the maybe name what's of the happening in the TV is the real story. Dude, holy shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we cracked it. Are we the ones being watched? Maybe we're the story of this Are, album. <laughs> am I myself now? True self. Are we bugs? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways <laughs> but yeah this next uh this song. next track is uh life form uh transmission received so so this is the cool. album closer yes the uh, technical album closer yep. yes this is the official album closer mm-hmm. yeah and uh i think it, I think it works but I think yeah. it does as well transmission received <laughs> That one's a jam, though. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's really you know, upbeat uh, and. Yeah, it's good. It's it's what plays as the credits roll, and it's it's great. It's like perfect for that. Yeah, uh, yeah but yeah, it yeah. is also just like yeah, it's a nice. It feels kind of like tri- almost triumphant. Yeah, and yeah. Just like yeah, upbeat. Just the same, the same thing repeating, but like in a way that is good. Maybe in this one, the kids get the moon pie eye at the end instead Maybe. of the witch. It's like a whole... May, I think I think originally, yeah, <laughs> they wanted much more conflict. They intended more conflict between yeah. the kids and Madame Truffle. And yeah, but, they, they, them running away with the moon pie eye, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. But then after they cast Madame Truffle, they're like, oh, you're so nice, though. Yeah, how you are know? we going to make you evil? Yeah, yeah. and like, uh, Give her that beard. And plus, this Francisco guy looks fucking weird. I don't even know what we were <laughs> thinking with that, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. I think that they just they just did the logical thing when you adapt it to to visuals, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah this one's life forms a now. I like long, that. Long slow fade out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about a minute. It's about a, almost a full minute of. A fade I didn't out, realize. So. I it never occurred to me. Uh, until like I listened to this uh, before I before we did this as well. Yeah, yeah. And like it until then, it didn't strike me like the similarity between this and how we ended the fucking uh, our our album. Dude, uh, yeah. Because uh, I, I think like, that you know, obviously, uh, this has yeah. been a huge influence on me, and I totally didn't. I totally wasn't thinking about that. I was just yeah. like, yeah, I want a wicked long fade out. Like, I just want it. Yeah, shit. <clears throat> like, a, just a really gradual fade out. Yeah, I just out. listened but to that earlier today. Oh, You're man. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I let, you know, I throw it on every now and again. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> Listen to Love My Life, guys. It's great. Oh. Buy the vinyl. Um, <laughs> oh. But, um, yeah, that, that, you're, it does... Yeah, maybe subconsciously you're like, Sub- you were I must have, yeah, channeling your, one of your yeah favorite yeah. favorite things. Yeah, that's cool. Some um, some reviewer compared 
it to this, which made me feel good about myself. And also, that's really cool. Anytime anybody compares me, anytime anybody compares us to bands that I do listen to, I'm like, oh fuck, I'm ripping them off. And when they yeah. compare them to somebody I don't listen to, I'm like, well, I don't fucking listen to that band. <laughs> there's no, <laughs> there's no winning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the plight I think of the artist is like you are constantly compared. We get compared other to Guided things. by Voices so much, and that's a bit like I know Guided by Voices. I've never really like listened to them or cared about huh. them, but like that's like one of the number one comparisons. You know how often oh, we you we think I might on, like that? <laughs> on this podcast, you know how often the Beatles get mentioned. Of oh, it's just like the Beatles. Every oh, time, it's, it's it like the, every time. It's, it's the Rosetta yeah. Stone of music <laughs> references. So. The absolute number one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the the best comparison that anyone has given us, uh, and the one I with, with, with which I took no issue, yeah. is uh, it's like they said that the album was like Joy Division uh, meets Weird Al on the Magical <laughs> Mystery Tour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, see, that's, that's awesome. The best thing anyone yeah, could ever yeah. fucking say. <laughs> yeah, you should almost put that on a sticker and put that on the album. Yeah, I would you know? love to do that. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's I mean, a beautiful sentence. You're starting yeah. with high praise with Joy Division already. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's um, high praise across the board, yeah, but on, yeah. along, across such a spectrum. Yeah, yeah. And it definitely makes sense. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it fits. I like that. <laughs> Well, I was saying uh, once we get through all of, all five of your albums, like if you add them all together, it's like yeah, it is Inspector Thirty Four, <laughs> minus the you know the the allegations from the lead singer of of uh, course brand new, no of course. allegations yeah, yeah. Uh, for yeah. any of us. <laughs> no, we're all very nice and <laughs> yeah, not yeah. creeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's probably the le- <laughs> the one least like the the rest of you guys. But yeah, we've yeah. done you know we've done um, uh, they might be giants. We've done yeah. Ween. We've mm-hmm. done. Um, oh, yeah, what'd you do uh, with that? Uh, meatloaf. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. We did Meatloaf, which, like, I was like, yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> this this fits. Um, and, yeah, now this. So, yeah. yeah Very so, overly dramatic. Yeah. I oh, think yeah. probably probably the next one will be the least uh, 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 close to your genre. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. there's always little uh, things that make their way. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. It's good yeah, album. yeah, yeah. It's a good album. I'm very much not a uh, I'm very much not a pop punk guy. I never have been, but uh, <laughs> you know it's be, it's big for Ben and Pat, so it definitely it definitely gets in there still. You know, when I was growing up, we didn't call it pop punk when it was brand new. We just call we, it punk. We called it emo, and that's all we oh, called it. Of course, it. yeah. Okay. We only called it emo, <laughs> and then at some point, like emo, like got lumped in with the pop punk, and it's like, yeah, I guess it was pretty much pop punk. Yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah. when I was we just a kid, wanted to I differentiate all, ourselves. When I was a kid, I did call it all emo, but now yeah. that I like know what, like now it's never at all what I think of as emo. I'm like, oh, there's emo music and there's pop punk. I don't yeah, really like yeah. either of them. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There I are would... so, there are some gems in either category for sure. Yeah, 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 and it's definitely it is more in the pop punk vein than like what the '80s would consider emo, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we kind of appropriated that term in the two thousands, <laughs> and it will be appropriated. It's just you know, it's just an easy one to appropriate, I think, because it's just emotional. So if anything ever gets, <laughs> yeah, like, sure, because like you know now you have emo rap, you know. So yeah. do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh people people God. refer to there's there's rappers that talk about being sad. As the subject matter, and God they call it emo rap. Do they call it, or do you call it, Brad? No, no, no. I, listen, no, no. I, By definition, I have heard it, it might be what you're saying, but I don't know. <laughs> this is going to sound old, but I have heard it referred to as emo rap. So I have it on good authority. Um, <laughs> I still have no proof. Yeah, I have no proof. Brutal no, articles. Lengthy I'm not sure. Articles. I'm not sure if uh, Takeshi Six Nine falls under this category. I'm not Takeshi. sure if tattoos are involved in this subgenre. Um, <laughs> face tattoos, I mean. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I believe there is emo rap now. Um, we have. <laughs> Oddity. I mean, if you believe, logical next, logical it next must. step. 
<laughs> it must be there. Yeah. Or it's rap that uses like My Chemical Romance as the the. Um, <laughs> yeah, they know, just say our sample. Yeah, they sample those. Song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that make a great sketch. I think <laughs> um, we have one more track left, and uh, this is the clo- this is the deluxe album closer. Yeah. And uh, so this I, one's not in the in the film and on the on the CD of the album that it's there's like a long get- space of silence after the big fade out and then mm-hmm. there's a stretch of silence and then yeah this kicks in it's pretty much it, it's like a hidden track pretty much yeah. like if if you just got the cd and you were just playing it for the first time i didn't see it, it would coming. be a hidden track yeah you wouldn't know it was coming but here is what a wonderful world That saw guitar thing. What what is that? I called? think that's a saw. That's Julian Coster, one hundred percent. Oh, is it a saw? Okay, yeah, yeah. Saw, he's yeah. he's like a uh, apparently he's a master of that extremely thing. Extremely good at playing the same yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you hear a lot of that in uh, in an airplane over the sea. He does. Uh, he plays banjo also, and he'll and he'll bow that. So that I think there's a little bit of that in there as well. Yeah, it's, got it's kind of an really. Sound. It really brings out a, another like level of emotion to his song. It's just I love yeah. the I love the samples yeah. he uses. Oh yeah. And the world yeah, wonderful world. And it's just like a weird sounds like a And they change yeah, and they changed the melody baby, of it. Crying. Yeah. Yeah, to like it, it's a melody that works, but it's like not the right melody. It's not like yeah. you know, what a wonderful world. It's what a wonderful world. It's like I think <laughs> yeah, that's like it takes a, a second. It takes a God, second to recognize. That's it. literally like the it's like the minor of it, right? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. There, there's, I don't know. There is music science. That's the term. Music science. <laughs> there is music. Science. Uh, there is music science behind this. There is music um, science. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just I really really enjoyed this one. I had to include it in the track. Yeah, it's like, it's great. It's very reminiscent of, you know, my favorite Neutral Milk spots um, throughout their discography with, like, yeah, uh, the old timiness of it along with Yeah. The, yeah. Um, yeah. Two great endings. It's, like, yeah, they, both, it's both rare there's two so well. endings in a row for an album that are both, like, what yeah. is this, uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King? With all these <laughs> Extended endings. editions? <laughs> the extended edition is four, five, six endings of this thing. When is it going to end? <laughs> Thought the yeah. album was over. I paid for one album. I'm getting maybe three. <laughs> it's like, like the end of uh, Ferris Bueller. Why are you still sitting there? Yeah, no, yeah. It's Go over. Home. It's over. Go <laughs> home. Yeah. It's yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> you got the little people out there picking up the popcorn now. It's done, yeah. Cole. But yeah, maybe maybe that's why they had to do two albums at the same time. Like they were like, well, maybe, well maybe one was we, like we, the... we have to end one with this one, but we have to end one with this one. It's true. Both of them work as it as entire albums, you know, as yeah, as yeah. a single piece, but in different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had and a, an I, and amalgamation. And I hope someday you you'll you'll think on it and and maybe li- like having listened to it enough to give try all the bonus tracks because they're all great. Yeah. Uh, oh no, I've, I'm I'm definitely going to to listen to the other ones uh, available. There's there's like three or four tracks left if you guys want to check out the uh, deluxe edition. This is true. Um, it's the it's on on Spotify. It's the one that's like zoomed out just a little bit. You know, it doesn't have. Uh, and the adding machine at the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wait. The the shorter one doesn't have at the adding machine at the bottom. You get uh, the adding machine with the the deluxe edition. Yeah. yeah. Man, I don't, I don't use Spotify. <laughs> I bought the album. So. Yeah. Go to yeah. Go to Bandcamp. <laughs> Go to Bandcamp. Go to the if they have website that apparently doesn't work, but maybe the original. It does. They might maybe have a, another one that will. They might have a pure volume. I don't know. They might have a pure volume. Yeah, yeah. Who knows from that that time? Um, <laughs> well, that that was a beautiful of which, way to wrap up. I was about to say. Speaking of which, uh, this has been a, a long episode. This is a long Hell album. Of an episode. Um, but long we're gonna album, get through our last uh, uh, section where we go through our plugs and uh, find out what we've been listening to. Uh, I, of course, have been listening to the Desert Island Discord playlist. 
Uh, we there's have nothing about else. Uh, 36. Yeah, no, I'm, it's it's fine. Like there's about <laughs> 200 songs in there now. Um, I'm I'm adding more every day. Um, there's uh, uh yeah, he's not quite stuff. so trapped. Uh, join us on our Discord. Uh, click the link below. Uh, and when you get to the Discord, please let us know what your uh, top five desert island albums would be, so we can add like one or two tracks from each of them to our playlist. We want and, to uh, know, fans. And we have more playlists coming in on the horizon. We're gonna make some genre specific playlists coming up here soon. When I have a uh, minute to do it, or maybe I'll just make Sam do it. I don't know. Sam Braun seems to like the Discord, so maybe I'll just throw him the the, the playlist responsibilities. But um, that's all I'm listening to. That's all I've got to plug. Check out our Discord. Check out our YouTube videos. You can check out shorter chunks of what we're talking about here, and uh, and some other random shit that I've worked on uh, at Flyover State Park. Oh, and the Patreon, of course. Uh, we have more episodes behind the paywall at patreon.com slash flyoverstatepark. I'm going to be editing the tiers here uh, soon, so um, we'll, have, we'll have two tiers for you. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got. Uh, what about you, Jake? And we'll go, uh, we'll go last with you, Jim. All right. Um, I just pretty much the same stuff. Listening, to stuff for the radio show under the covers on 91.7 WSUM and 92.5 WISY. Uh, Wednesday morning, 6 to 8 a.m. Um, I, uh. I heard a, I, I uh, said a name wrong, and a listener reached out and emailed me the correct name, uh, the way to say the name. So that's always good to know nice people to are know out there. Someone's listening. Yes, yeah, see, that's see, right. Yeah, that's, that's how you know. You know, like that. That's God damn right. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I got it wrong. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> you should get know. it wrong every time you bring that I person think, up yeah. in the future. <laughs> just our, just to bug station, that person. In the broadcast radius of our college station, what is uh, the uh, Billerica prison uh-huh. uh, for oh. our region? They're our number one. They were our number one listeners. Yeah, and yeah. We would I got a joke that we got a captive audience. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's smart. I don't know I if got... they liked that that's or not, but we would up. make the joke. <laughs> when that's, I was, that's... hey, you know, uh, uh, fight the prison industrial <laughs> complex, people. <laughs> yes, seriously. When I <laughs> when I had my first show, I got a fan letter from the prison, so that was that was pretty that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, man. You know what? Yeah. I need to. It feels good. I need to get this podcast on the airway. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> getting this to the the prison populations. They yeah, just got no, no access it's... to podcasts as far as yeah, I know. yeah. That's right, <clears throat> man. Man, man they love us too. They've got nothing. Yeah, yeah I think us. I think we could. I think we could inspire some some prisoners in there. You know, teach them a few things about some albums. You know, that'd be nice. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, doing that and it's on Spotify. Uh, the show is on Spotify under the covers with Jake, the snake foster, the podcast, um, coming up with, uh, yeah, we're coming. See, John, you got to do another promo. (laughs) I can do do that. that. I can do that. Should do that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're coming out with a between the sheets episode on Loretta Lynn. I'm still working on. Uh, my fiance Kayla and I had to do that because she's nervous about doing it, but we'll get her done. Uh, Loretta yeah, Lynn's yeah, yeah. birthday is the 14th of April, so that's our target date. And then okay. the next one is Robert Johnson, the old blues, um, like famous blues guitarist. So okay, okay, um, that's our next one that we're gonna do. Uh, nice. After Who's that. for that one? Uh, Brent Copernall wanted to do him. Nice. So nice. you guys, let me nice. know if you come up with a come up with a person i'd love yeah to, i need to i need to think of the right right person to deep dive on, you know and hopefully their birthday's coming up so that we can kind of keep it chronological but yeah oh you're trying Anyways. to do it with the birthdays okay I'll keep that in yeah mind. yeah so robert johnson's born in like mid-may or something so well um George, what about death days do you care about death days uh sure. yeah that works too because george harrison died on my birthday so it's kind of it's a little of both Yes, you see know. that works. That totally works. That sounds yeah, like yeah. a nail on the head. Yeah, yeah. I like to believe I I usurped his uh, soul uh, uh, for my own creative purposes. Yeah. So <laughs> that's the way I prefer to look at it. Um, anyway, what were you saying, Jake? 
Oh, I think that was. I think that okay. about just covered my plugs. So yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. I'm uh, wearing a high mileage T-shirt, which we talked about when I yes. think the microphones were off. But my check out high band. mileage. See them yeah. at your local festival in the summer. Yeah, I think I they're believe. coming to Madison. Probably coming your way at some yeah. point. Yeah, in their tour bus. In, in their them, their yeah. great tour bus. That's yeah. not the Kenny Rogers <laughs> Ask tour him about bus the anymore. Bus. Yeah. Ask him about the bus. Ask Tell to him see Jake the, sent see you. the bus. Yeah. See, yeah. Ask to see the bus. <laughs> That's fantastic. Tell him Jake said it was cool. Um. <laughs> you probably see the bus if you're seeing them. It's so yeah, giant. Yeah, yeah. It's, but it, yeah, it sounds. Ask pretty, to see the inside of the bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rockstar life. Uh, what about you, John? What are you listening to? What do you got to plug? Oh, I have been listening to the Transformers soundtrack again. Hell yeah. Being a friend at work, listened to it the other day. Got to get those driving, uh, those driving 80s synthesizers, you know? Hell yeah. Um, if you want to hear us uh, uh, break that one down, we do have an episode about that with the wood chickens. Uh, you check our feed. So we did we cover that. Um, been planning on picking up the Digimon album again. Yes. Yes. Whole album nostalgia. It will happen. Uh, Digimon the movie soundtrack will get will, will be a thing. That's um, cool. I'm in for that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Jake's into Anyways, it. Anyways. All right. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> um. Uh. And um. I just watched uh the last uh blockbuster. Oh. On uh on Netflix. Okay. And it's pretty much Netflix trying to like you know sour themselves of the of the guilt of ending poor blockbuster (laughs) Ah, 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 watch it take your own opinions from it there is one blockbuster left in the world and it's in oregon oregon aren't they like renting it out so people can stay overnight there i i don't know what they're doing i'm sure they're doing anything for money that's what I heard. That's what I heard. You can like stay it's overnight. The last one. Airbnb blockbuster. Yeah, you can stay overnight. You got the whole uh, library of movies, so you can pop oh, that's in whatever kind of movie awesome, you want. Actually. That is, yeah. yeah, actually. Now that you mentioned hey. it, that is kind of that might be worth it. Yeah, that's fucking. People cool. come far and wide to see this place. It better have a projector <laughs> though. Like it's I'm got talking, a bunch like, of like. Uh, yeah, I'm not watching this on a little fucking VCR in the TV monitor. Yeah, well, it's just it's a CRT screen. TV yeah. in the corner of the blockbuster. That's the there's no chairs to it's keep the with. Same TV yeah, the employee right. used to watch from behind the counter. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh uh, I think we need to take a, a, a podcast vacation out to Blockbuster, guys. I will say <laughs> this. This one spoiler. Um, go to our Patreon and fund our vacation to Blockbuster in Oregon. <laughs> What's up? Group funding. Um, no. Uh, we will not buy a gun with the money. <laughs> we yeah, promise. we promise to not buy a gun. Oh, one, Sorry, one was that on spoiler. video? <laughs> one, one spoiler from the thing is that it seems like of, at one point uh, Blockbuster had a chance to buy Netflix and Blockbuster laughed Netflix. Oh, out yeah, the- yeah. No, I remember, oh, I remember that stuff. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. They were, they were like, Netflix, screw you guys. What are you talking about? <laughs> this isn't going to be a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that billion was billion dollar blockbuster. That was a real slow burn down. What, yeah. Was the gun stuff on? Were we recording that or not? Uh, I, I don't know. Well, I'm not, I'm I just really don't want sure. to sound like a crazy person. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not, I, I don't want a gun, so that's... The... And, and I, we, we explained that very I, heavily, I, Jake. I just I want to bring okay. a... No, but I, I just don't wanted think to bring we explained attention. it. I, I just wanted think... to bring attention to the fact that uh, people have bought guns with government money, which is right. very oh, yes. ironic. I, I, I guess. was at the bar, especially at the if you're bar, Second just Amendment like, just like person, two weeks ago. You know? Not two weeks ago, like 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 three months ago when the second stimulus came. Yeah, and I just remember like hearing somebody like three bar stools down, like. Hey, Hom, got me another gun coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's his four hundred dollars stimulus. Most most guns <laughs> sold in a decade or something. I think it's a lot of guns. Um, oh, yeah. But uh, what about you, Jim? Uh, on that note, what are you uh, listening to? What do you got to plug? Boy, what am I listening to? Um, man, what a question! I never have an answer for it when any when. Anyone else? <laughs> I do occasionally I don't listen either. to music. Uh, here's the thing: is I work at a music distributor, and okay. 
there's just there's music playing all day and it okay. makes me not ever want to listen to music in my free time because work is like I am not listening to the music for work but I'm just constantly having music blasted at me so yeah. in my free time I'm like oh finally a moment's goddamn peace I don't have to listen to fucking yeah. music I um, was <laughs> almost I was telling Alexandra off mic last time almost the same thing <laughs> so <laughs> unless it's like preparing for the show yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah but on side b sometimes those albums are kind of fucking weird <laughs> and not in like a fun way anyway what are you there's saying gotta be there's gotta be something i'll think of something i've that's, that's all right that's liking. all right uh you uh, know what i listen to i i listen to a lot of herb alpert and the tijuana brass dude I fucking love dude. herb alpert and the tijuana brass it's on my top think, five desert island beautiful i think i own yeah. more re, more records of theirs than any other i uh, i artist. think i do as well actually <laughs> so good i so bought another good. one the other day I Dude. think like some it's great music to just listen to and I'll put it on when I'm cooking and then I'll start eating and then like the yeah. Yeah. act of just sitting and eating something mm -hmm. while Herb Alpert and the T on a fucking yeah. brass plays oh is absurd. Like yeah. 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 you yeah. listen to this music and you're like who the High fuck society. Is, who listens to this? Who's this for? And then you're like, Oh, it's me. It has been me the whole time. I love it so <laughs> fucking much. Every Her, album. Herb Alpert turned 86 yeah. in, uh, if, I know this doesn't work with the podcast, he's still with but us. March 31st, 1935 is his birthday. So yeah, He's still with us, and I love wow. that. At the wow. time of this recording. Yeah. Time of this recording. Hopefully he, he makes it to Monday. <laughs> That's really morbid. I don't know why I said that. Um, also, uh, <laughs> the Beach Boys, I, I listen to a lot of the Beach Boys. I love that. Okay. Okay. These, so when I'm working on the cartoon, I just I have like a box of some records in my room, and those are the ones I play over and over again. Yeah, it's the Beach yeah. Boys and it's Herb Alpert. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, good stuff. Also, those are good uh, picks. Uh, and I just give a shout out to the band Pile. They're a great band. They're a Boston band. Pile. And uh, everyone should like check I've them heard, out. I feel like I've They're, heard Pile. They're a fantastic band. Their most recent album uh, is really good. And I okay, didn't okay. listen to it for like a year after I bought it. Okay. Uh, because I didn't want to accidentally rip it off, rip them off. Uh, and I yeah, finally yeah, have yeah. been listening to it uh, in the past couple months. And it's fucking awesome. Green and Gray by Pile. That's the new, okay, it's the quote okay. unquote new album that I can plug for people to listen nice, to. Nice, nice. Uh, hi, Rick. Hi, Pile. Uh, <laughs> fucking! I would love to plug uh, my band, Inspector Thirty Four. If Absolutely. you want to listen to our music or buy our record, uh, it's called "Love My Life." You can find it all over the internet. You've been hearing about it all month. You know about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We have um, we have amply uh, uh, covered. Yeah, it's been yeah. plugged. It's a great album, guys. Thank you so much. So good. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all worked really hard on it. Yeah. Um, and if you want to check out the music video I animated for it, I would appreciate it because I spent about a thousand hours of my life uh, drawing pictures over and over again to make it look like they move. Uh, so, so yeah, yeah. It would, it's validating for my effort if people watch that. Uh, yeah. So just yeah. do a, do a YouTube search for us and and you'll see our video. Uh, yeah, and uh, I want to plug. The band Squash, you can check. We're online. There's like five bands named Squash. Uh, oh, fun. But if you if you go to squashband.bandcamp.com, that's us. We're the real one. Wow, they haven't. Uh, that wasn't taken. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, so check that out. Uh, also, Dad Doxer with three X's. In uh, you figure out where the X's go. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would really like to plug the Sad Milk Collective uh, Patreon page. Yes, Because we absolutely. got our Patreon, and we're putting up, you know, musical content. We don't do podcasts because we're people who make music. Yeah, uh, So yeah. what we do is just is music on there. You, si you sign yeah. up for the Patreon, you get music. Yeah, um, yeah. 
We mostly we use it for uh, re- it's like re- there's music you can't hear anywhere else. So today, for example, uh, I, I posted we posted a, a uh, full uh, live recording of an Inspector Thirty Four set from uh, 2018 when we played in Oil City, uh, Pennsylvania. So oh, okay, that's okay. the kind of fun. Uh, but uh, a lot of the time we also do like collaborations. Yeah. Uh, between the members of all the various bands that are in that make up the Sad Milk Collective, so you can hear yeah. our Inspector Thirty Four's keyboard player Silas Price rapping over a beat that was made by Inspector Thirty Four's guitar player Pat Auclair. Dude, yes, yes, you can hear that. Uh, we got we got some rap songs. Uh, we got some n- noise songs. We got some heavy songs. We got some light songs. We got it all, guys, and we got the content. And also, Ooh, uh, so Inspector content. Inspector Thirty Four has a split seven inch with our friends in a band called Big Mess. Okay. Uh, okay. Where uh, Big Mess played uh, Harry Belafonte songs that I sang. Big Mess is a band that doesn't have a singer normally. Uh, oh, okay. So I I sang Harry Belafonte songs with Big Mess, and cool. then uh, nice. Nick Wiedemann, the guitar player of Big Mess sang Woody Guthrie songs that Inspector 34 performed. Wow, uh, And okay. that's the split. It's a 7-inch, and you that can only really cool. get it by subscribing to the Patreon. It's the yeah. only wow. way you can get that record is by subscribing to the uh, There's a lot of really cool collaborations, guys. We got all sorts of, you know, we're trying, we, we're just doing the stuff. The collective. And we're, we're just doing it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And we figured if somebody could maybe want to give us a little money for it, that would be fun. But we're still going to make the stuff anyways. Yeah, um, yeah. So check it out. It's patreon.com slash sadmilkcollective. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's where you can find all of the stuff. And also, I uh, do animation, and I just made a TikTok if you oh, you got follow, TikTok. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not no, I know. It's, using it's, it, but I'm posting yeah. things on it and ignoring it. Yeah. And that feels good to me. That's the first step. You know, that's yeah. the first step in any any social media uh, relationship. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I've been told I need to make a, a profile for myself with my animation uh, yeah, and yeah. keep it separate from other things. So I've just yeah. started doing that. Uh, uh-huh. So it's Healthy Jim with two M's, and okay. uh, you can find me on TikTok. I'm Healthy Jim. You can find me on uh, Vimeo, and uh, and look at all the f- all the funny pictures I made and laugh at them or not. Nice, nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. And you can yeah you can hire him to to do stuff. Yeah, if to, you want you know, to, to you pay want, me to draw like his... you a lot of pictures yeah. and make it look like they're moving when they're actually not. Yes. Uh, get, then the magic find, of animation. Yeah, it's yeah, fun, yeah. Uh, and and I'll do it for you if you if you make it worth my while. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Just a little bit of cheddar for uh, you know hours upon hours of work. Yeah. Yes, it's 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 a remarkably time consuming art form, but yeah. I love doing yeah. it, and I'd be happy to do it for anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I was just—I just had one more uh, uh, question though. Uh, I was wondering, are you flagrant yet? No, I'm not flagrant. I've been meaning to go flagrant, but here's—I. Bye. Uh, uh. All right, yeah, I just wanted to do that for the end of the episode. <laughs> Thanks for listening. The album concept hour is Brad LeBaron, Dave Gallagher, John Aker, and Jake Foster. Special thanks to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard for the theme music. Please like us on Facebook or friend us on Twitter or MySpace and let us know what concept album you would like to hear on the podcast. See you on Side B. This is Flyover State Park. You are clear to land.